Chapter 1721 Shia Chen joins translator. Born to be he was a thin and somewhat frail looking man, with a fair complexion. He didn't look like a martial artist but rather almost scholarly. If he wore a scholar's band and held a white fan in his hand, he would look even more like one. That was the first impression that Shia Chen gave Long Chen. Long Chen could sense his aura and knew that he was definitely a soul transformation expert. However, the fluctuations of his spiritual yuan were very weak. So weak that Long Chen found it unimaginable. They were even weaker than a foundation forging expert. Are you surprised? In a private room, Xia Chen faced Long Chen with a slight smile. I really am a bit. No wonder you were unwilling to reveal yourself until now, said Long Chen. It's not that I was unwilling, but that I didn't dare. I'm very afraid of dying. Xia Chen smiled bitterly. A formation cultivator didn't necessarily have a good life. They could only move within the protection of their own formations. If they left their formations, they would be like plucked hedgehogs. They would lose all ability to resist. It was a rare profession in the cultivation world. They had both amazing powers as well as fatal weaknesses. Long Chen knew that Xia Chen couldn't reveal himself easily, as that was exposing himself to danger. Even the weakest of Empyreans would be able to easily slay him. I've never had a chance to thank you. However, I also don't like such formality. So if you have any difficulties, just tell me, said Long Chen. Whether it was the barrier in the Grand Xia or the formation diagram he had gifted to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, those were huge favors. A single word of thanks was unable to make up for it. Brother Long, you're as direct as the rumors said. Yes, I came to ask if you have any of the devil cores of the Empyrean winged blood devils that had reached the life star level. Xia Chen also spoke directly upon seeing Long Chen was so straightforward. I do. How many? Long Chen thought for a moment. I'm not too sure on the exact number, but it should be over 100,000. It was Lu Ruian who had cleaned up the battlefield. Long Chen didn't know how many devil cores she had gathered, but he knew how many of the Empyrean winged blood devils he had slain. Those Empyrean winged blood devils had been extremely strong and their devil cores were priceless treasures. Even the devil cores belonging to those at the soul transformation level had managed to survive the touch of the black water. So the ones belonging to the life star level should be even harder to destroy and must have mostly survived. Over a hundred thousand. Xia Chen gasped upon hearing that number. He then bitterly smiled. No wonder your dragon blood legion is so powerful. The number one legion on the martial heaven continent. This kind of money-making ability is unrivaled the value of the devil cores from soul transformation level heavenly winged blood devils was extremely high, while the devil cores from those at the life star level were absolute treasures. The total price of the devil cores in Long Chen's hands was not lower than the reward Ku Jianying had given them. You came for the life star level devil cores, asked Long Chen. Xia Chen smiled with a touch of embarrassment, but he thickened his face and nodded. All right. Then I'll call someone over to get them all for you. The devil cores might be treasures, but they weren't valuable when compared to lives. Back in the Grand Han, if it hadn't been for Xia Chen's barrier, it was unknown how many dragon blood warriors would have died. So if Xia Chen needed the devil cores, Long Chen would give them all to him without hesitation. He immediately called for someone. Wait a moment. Xia Chen hastily waved his hand. What is it? Xia Chen was conflicted. He sighed. In truth, I shouldn't have come to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Why is that? Asked Long Chen curiously. I've long since heard about your magnanimity and grandness that gives you the charisma to win over others. I didn't want to see you because I didn't want to be won over as well. I made all kinds of preparations before coming, but I didn't expect to fall into your trap with just a word from you, said Xia Chen. Long Chen couldn't help but smile. He understood what Xia Chen meant. I'm not such a good person, but I know how to repay favors. If someone helps me, I'll remember them. Didn't you also help me because I helped your grand Xia? Money is just a worldly possession, and compared to the lives of my brothers, these devil cores are worthless. Of course, if you were to join the Dragon Blood Legion, we would all be brothers, and we would welcome you with open arms. If you would rather continue being a lone operator without any constraints, I won't force you either. 
we would still be friends and brothers. However, I feel like the Dragon Blood Legion suits you very well. If you were to join, your weakness would be made up for by others. By joining a group, you would become a real expert. Shia Chen bitterly smiled. Sorry, I rather like being alone. That's fine. Even if we aren't together, we can still cooperate. There will still be chances to fight alongside each other in the future. Long Chen didn't mind Shia Chen's refusal. Top experts always liked to be solitary. They were used to it, and it was very difficult for them to join a group. This was just their habit, and they felt a revulsion toward groups. Just as the two of them were speaking, Kuo Ran came into the room, holding a spatial ring in his hand. Let me introduce you to, this is Kuo Ran, one of my brothers, said Long Chen. I've long since heard the great name of the Golden Armor Warrior. You even managed to leave your name on the Devil Slaughter rankings this time. Congratulations Xia Chen cupped his hands toward Guo Ran. Wait, the Golden Armor Warrior? I actually have such an amazing nickname? I didn't even know. Brother, no, big bro, my dearest brother. Do you know any other stories about me? Please, let me hear them. Here, I'll pour some water right now. Guo Ran immediately forgot everything else after hearing this nickname. Stop messing around and give the spatial ring to Xia Chen, said Long Chen. Xia Chen? You're Xia Chen. Guo Ran jumped. Long Chen took the spatial ring from Guo Ran's hand and gave it to Xia Chen. All the life star level Empyrean winged blood devils devil cores are in here. Xia Chen received the spatial ring. After that, he closed his eyes and took a deep breath. You win. I wish to join the Dragon Blood Legion. Xia Chen was a generation's genius and the heir of the Grand Spirit Immortal Formation sect however, he had been completely won over by Long Chen's methods. The reason he had refused to join the Dragon Blood Legion before had just been a test. However, even though he had refused to join, Long Chen had still given him all these priceless devil cores that had won Xia Chen over. Ha ha ha, fool, you've fallen for it. Guo Ran suddenly laughed. From outside the door, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Yu Zifeng walked in. They cut their fists to Xia Chen. Congratulations on joining the Dragon Blood Legion. After greeting Xia Chen, they unwillingly bowed toward Guo Ran and said, Boss Guo Ran, what are you fellows up to? demanded Long Chen. Xia Chen was startled and suddenly looked at the spatial ring in his hand. Only now did he look inside it to see that there were no devil cores inside. Instead, there was just a piece of paper. That paper had a single line of ugly writing on it. Congratulations on joining the Dragon Blood Legion. Starting today, we're all brothers. So don't take offense from this little joke. Ha ha ha, wasn't I right? What hero could possibly resist boss's charisma? Those who can resist aren't heroes. You didn't believe me when I said this. But look now. Your boss Guo Ran's prophecy has come true. Guo Ran laughed, extremely pleased with himself. It seemed that they had already received word that Xia Chen had come. Guo Ran had prophesied that Xia Chen wouldn't be able to run away after coming. He would definitely join the Dragon Blood Legion. Gu Yang and the others had felt that Xia Chen joining them would be very difficult. After all, he had always been a solitary figure. Even if he could become friends with Long Chen. It wasn't likely that he would join the Dragon Blood Legion. As a result, they had made a bet, and Guo Ran had won. Xia Chen's expression was odd while Long Chen was speechless. He scolded. Guo Ran, this joke of yours is a bit too much. It's not too much at all. Big brother Xia Chen definitely won't get angry, right? Guo Ran laughed and nudged Xia Chen. Let me tell you, joining the Dragon Blood Legion is definitely the best decision of your life. With your divine formations and my forging arts, plus boss's wealth, we can accomplish anything. You want to merge my formations with your forging. Xia Chen's eyes suddenly began to shine. Exactly. Adding your formations onto my concealed weapons and then adding my concealed weapons into your formations. That kind of power. Guo Ran involuntarily gulped. His fervent expression was very frightening. I haven't thought of that. If we could merge your explosives into my formations, their power would multiply. However, I haven't managed to merge my formations with martial weapons. I don't know if it will work, but we can try it. Xia Chen was also excited. 
This kind of thinking was absolutely wild. It was practically a fantasy. However, Guo Ran felt that it was possible, and the two of them clicked instantly. There's no time to lose. Let's start testing right now. Guo Ran was a fanatic when it came to testing new things like this. He didn't even want to waste a second. Don't. We have to have a celebration for Xia Chen first, said Gu Yang. There's no need for a celebration. I feel like some of Guo Ran's ideas might really work, and I also want to test them out. Sometimes inspiration is fleeting, so we can't wait. No one had expected Xia Chen to also be such a fanatic. He and Guo Ran were birds of a feather, and they vanished like a puff of smoke. Long Chen and the others looked at each other. This ending was so sudden that they didn't quite know how to react. Guo Ran and Xia Chen had actually hit it off so easily. I feel like with those two fellows together, they'll be able to create some extraordinary unique things. Gu Yang looked in the direction the two of them had left. The others nodded profoundly. With Guo Ran's crazy ideas, he could come up with anything. Adding formations into the mix. Who knew what he would make? Chapter 1722 Strengthening the Dragon Blood Legion Translator Born to be Xia Chen really stayed just like that? It's hard to believe Gu Yang and the others felt that this was too sudden. He wanted to join from the start. It's just that experts always have to find an excuse so they won't embarrass themselves. Long Chen smiled. Gu Yang gave him a thumbs up. Boss is wise. Long Chen shook his head. There's nothing wise about it. Even if he didn't join, I would do my best to help him when he needs it. Xia Chen is like us and doesn't like owing favors. Considering our compatible characters, we'd sooner or later be one family as soon as Long Chen had seen Xia Chen here. He had essentially seen through the latter's thoughts. Although Xia Chen was strong, he was isolated from the rest of the world and wasn't able to hide his emotions as well as others. As for Long Chen, having had to deal with all kinds of people since childhood and enduring countless setbacks, he could guess a person's character and thoughts with just a glance. So he wasn't surprised that Xia Chen would join at all. However, the fact that Guo Ran would be so excited about Xia Chen joining was a bit of a surprise. The two of them had hit it off as soon as they met, so much so that it was like they regretted not having met earlier. The only bad side to Xia Chen joining was that the pressure on Long Chen to make more money had increased. He had long since heard that Formation Cultivator was a profession that burned the most money in this world. Furthermore, it was the kind of profession that cost greatly but didn't get any return. Most of the time, a formation cultivator's income would come from being hired by others to establish or design formations. The Dragon Blood Legion was full of warriors. They might be good at fighting, but making money was not their forte. Fortunately, the best money making profession was alchemists. As long as Long Chen continuously refined pills, he would be able to raise this huge legion. Long Chen told Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch that Xia Chen had joined the Dragon Blood Legion. The Patriarch was shocked. While Li Xiangxuan was calm as if he had long since expected this, Li Xiangxuan was extremely clear on the charisma a Heaven Defier had. That kind of charisma was difficult to resist for men and women. As soon as Xia Chen had come, Li Xiangxuan had known that he wouldn't be able to leave. The next day, Xia Chen and Guo Ran excitedly ran over to Long Chen. Guo Ran shouted, Boss, boss, we spent all night formulating some formations for the troops. It can increase the battle power of the Dragon Blood Legion by over ten times. Ten times. Long Chen almost jumped out of his chair. The Dragon Blood Warriors had already gone through the tempering of the Blood Soul Stone and the Blood Essence Stone. Their power had been raised to a terrifying level already. If their power was increased by another ten times, wouldn't they be equivalent to Empyreans? Xia Chen nodded. With my formations plus Guo Ran's armor and weapons, if the two are made to complement each other, it will form a natural cycle of strengthening. Ten times is just an initial hypothesis. If we can reach the point where all ten thousand are one, the power that can be unleashed will be enough to shake heaven and earth. Xia Chen was confident and full of excitement. Formation cultivators didn't only have solo formations but also had formations for troops. Of course, Xia Chen had no troops under his command before this. Now that he had the most elite legion on the continent, 
the dream he had never been able to obtain had finally become reality. Just as Long Chen had said, Xia Chen greatly wished to join the Dragonblood Legion but didn't know how to. Long Chen's actions had given him a way to join without losing face. The Dragonblood Legion was the most suitable place for him in this world. Here, he would be able to show his greatest splendor. This is a good thing. What do you need from me? Asked Long Chen. Money. Xia Chen blushed, while Guo Ran was very direct. No problem. I can give some devil cores to Zheng Wenlong and the money will flow in, said Long Chen. We can't. These devil cores are priceless treasures that we need. We can't sell them. Boss, you should go tell the Xuan Master that the sect's 5 billion spirit crystal should be given to us. I'll finish the construction of the Dao sect's formation, and that will increase its power even more than what it would have been otherwise. It will also save some money, proposed Xia Chen. All right. I'll go mention it to the Xuan Master. It would be best if the Dao sect's construction progresses along with the Dragonblood Legion's upgrade. We aren't lacking money. We're lacking time. If you run out of money, just tell me and I'll think of something. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. Haha. <laughs> do you see? This is our boss. We just have to do our own work. There's no need for us to bother with anything else. Guo Ran patted Xia Chen on the shoulder, laughing. Xia Chen was a bit emotional. Not needing to worry about money really feels good. I've had so many bitter days of being broke and lacking confidence. If it weren't for that, I'd have definitely gotten in the top 10 of the Devil Slaughter rankings. However, fortunately I chose not to try, or I'd have gone bankrupt. Xia Chen had always been a solitary figure. The materials for his formations had been purchased by himself, and they were very expensive. Although he had obtained some materials when he had gained his inheritance and had always been very meticulous with his formations, he had always been low on money. Now that he had found a big money bag called Long Chen, he felt how blessed the days when he didn't have to worry about money were. Speaking of which, other than to show off, are there any other benefits of getting into the top 10? Asked Guo Ran suddenly. There are. I heard it's an amazing reward, which is why I tried to get into it. But my wallet couldn't handle the price. Xia Chen shook his head. If he had had money, he was confident he could have gotten into the top 10. Who distributes that reward? Asked Long Chen. No wonder Ku Jin Ying had said that there would be another pleasant surprise. I'm not sure. It seems to relate to some kind of secret. All I know is that once the reward comes, the top 10 will instantly soar, said Xia Chen. Long Chen nodded. Since that was the case. They just had to wait for the good news. Long Chen immediately went to talk to Li Shi Yangsuan. Li Shi Yangsuan naturally didn't refuse Xia Chen's plan, so Long Chen arranged it. In truth, Long Chen could have directly taken this money. Li Shi Yangsuan had said that this money would belong to the Dragonblood Legion because the reward for heavily injuring the corrupt path's devil kings was enough to rebuild the sect. However, the reward for injuring the corrupt path would take some time to come. So Long Chen had been planning on using the spirit crystals to rebuild the sect first. Now that there was a formation Grand Master present, there was no need to worry about it. They didn't even need to pay for outside labor. They only needed the Dao sect's people to work together to finish it off. It was convenient and cheap. Xia Chen changed some vital portions of the formation. The places that originally would have required spirit crystals to power had been switched with devil cores. These Devil Corps' most amazing point was that they were still alive in the sense that they continuously absorbed energy from the air that could be extracted to power the formation. Those ancient formations didn't have this ability and would instead require a huge amount of spirit crystals to function. Each time the formation was activated, it would cost a huge amount of spirit crystals. An ordinary sect wouldn't even be able to afford that cost. However, after being switched to Devil Corps, not only did that allow the formation to be activated to a certain level at all times, but any extra energy could be stored, saved for a real fight. It could also be converted to other kinds of energy. That was why these devil cores were such priceless treasures. Xia Chen immediately began working with Guo Ran. He spent half his time rebuilding the Dao sect, while the other half was spent refining the Dragonblood Legion's battle formation. He was also working with Guo Ran to invent new armor and weapons that were connected to the formation. 
allowing the Dragonblood Legion to unleash even greater power. Although the two of them had come up with the basic principles, going from theoretical to practical required constant testing. It was a long and arduous process. Fortunately, both of them were shockingly talented in this regard, and both worked hard. The formation gradually took shape, and the Dragonblood warriors were drilling with them. They gradually began to feel just how powerful this formation was, exciting them. They were filled with anticipation for their future accomplishments. While the two of them were busily working, the news that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had obtained a 15 billion spirit crystal reward spread throughout the eastern Xuan region. The fact that Long Chen had split that reward into three equal portions also spread. The entire region was shocked that he had given one portion to the heaven splitting battle sect and one to the families of the dead as compensation. It had to be known that many sects only had a few hundred spirit crystals in total. Possessing a few million spirit crystals would make them a first-rate sect as for the Zhuangshan Dao sect. It had instantly obtained 15 billion spirit crystals. Countless sects were jealous, as well as regretful. They had listened to other people's enticement and decided not to participate in the Battle of the Devil Abyss, allowing the Zhuangshan Dao sect to devour the entire reward itself. How could they not be jealous? The heaven-splitting battle sect had only sent 3,000 people. None of them had died, but they had been given 5 billion spirit crystals. As a result, some people began to criticize Long Chen for his favoritism. The Zhuangshan Dao sect had lost tens of thousands of disciples, while the heaven-splitting battle sect hadn't even lost one. Yet both sides were getting the same 5 billion spirit crystals. Wasn't he saying that the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples were more valuable than the others? Some experts even began to instigate trouble with the families of the dead, telling them to come out and criticize the Zhuangshan Dao sect Novaloon.com regretfully for them. Those families ignored them. It wasn't as if they were fools. The current Zhuangshan Dao sect was an enormous existence that they couldn't do anything about. Furthermore, their compensation for the deceased disciples was already too generous. Although some people might be affected by some rumors and feel a bit of dissatisfaction, they were well aware of Long Chen's temper. Whoever dared to cause trouble for the Zhuangshan Dao sect would be wiped out without hesitation. He wouldn't mind reuniting them with their dead family members. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to explain those rumors. Li Xiangxuan also sent word that the Zhuangshan Dao sect was allied with the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, and the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect would fight to the death for them. According to reason, the reward should have been split in two ways. The only reason it was split in three was because of their generosity to the families of the deceased. The compensation that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had paid out was definitely over ten times what the other regions had given. If people didn't believe that, they could go check and confirm for themselves. With just that, those voices instigating trouble fell silent. Li Xiangxuan's words were absolutely correct. Any dissatisfaction was only because they hadn't compared themselves with the other regions. As soon as they did, they realized how generous the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been. However, just as the first wave of rumors were placated, Another piece of news caused new waves. Chapter 1723 The Skyscraping World Translator Born to be Heavenly Fate Island had made a public announcement to the Martial Heaven Continent. This announcement was sharply pointed at Long Chen. It criticized Long Chen for starting slanderous rumors toward Heavenly Fate Island, groundlessly accusing them of crimes that they hadn't done in order to ruin their reputation. In order to defend their reputation and dignity, Heavenly Fate Island demanded Long Chen to admit to his mistakes and retract what he had said. Otherwise, to protect their reputation, they would be forced to impose sanctions on him. It was an announcement that lacked any substance. This was just the natural move done by any party who knew the other side had no proof. All they had to do was refuse to admit to their own actions, and without proof, no one could do anything to them. The reason they made this announcement was because Long Chen had broadcast that Heavenly Fate Island had intentionally sabotaged him in the Devil Abyss. That news had caused large waves in the Martial Heaven continent. Long Chen's message on the Devil Slaughter rankings had been a challenge to Heavenly Fate Island. Considering that Long Chen was the one who had first accused Heavenly Fate Island and made their feud public, 
the majority of people believed that his challenge wasn't based on nothing. After all, if it weren't for a deep enmity, who would be willing to be enemies with Heavenly Fate Island? Heavenly Fate Island was an existence countless sects were afraid of. Now, Heavenly Fate Island had made their own voice heard, but the majority of people didn't believe it. This was just a standard response to such an accusation. Everyone had seen this kind of sequence countless times. In the face of Heavenly Fate Island's announcement, Long Chen's only reply was, Just wait. He couldn't be bothered to play this game with them. Right now, he still didn't have the power to destroy them. However, he wouldn't just bottle his anger up inside. He had already expressed his anger, and when the time was ripe, they would have to face his rage. It just wasn't that time yet. Other than Xia Chen's arrival, another pleasant surprise to the Dragonblood Legion was that Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, Song Mingyuan, and Li Qi had already felt a change in their heavenly Tao manifestations. Long Chen just stared blankly when he heard this news, but Li Xiangxuan went wild with joy. He told Long Chen that this was a sign that their manifestations had started to awaken. They should immediately go into seclusion. After experiencing this life and death battle, Men Qi and the others' mental realms had risen greatly. They had never been as close to death as they had been this time, particularly when the corrupt experts had launched their suicidal attacks. Under that immense pressure of death and after the baptism of the blood soul stones, they had actually broken through a heavenly Tao bottleneck. Long Chen was also delighted when he realized what this meant and immediately told them to go into seclusion. Once their manifestations awoke, their combat power would rise to a new level. This was practically their biggest gain from the Devil Abyss. Brother Long, I'm hungry. I want to go out. Just as Guo Ran and Xia Chen were busy working while the others went into seclusion, Wild suddenly came to find Long Chen. Long Chen jumped in fright when he saw Wild's current state. After just a few days, Wild had gotten even skinnier. He looked like he was skin and bones. That arm and leg from the Xuan Beast expert he had eaten had been used up just like that. Okay, I'll accompany you and get you food. But before eating, come with me to a certain place. The Zhuanshan Dao sect was calm now. The formation was being completed perfectly thanks to Xia Chen. Meanwhile, the Dragonblood warriors were hard at work drilling their new battle formation and Men Qi and the others were in seclusion. Right now, there was nothing he needed to do here, so Long Chen wanted to take a trip to the eastern Xuan city. After telling Li Xiangxuan, Long Chen and Wild got on a transportation formation that brought them to the eastern Xuan city. Wild stayed in a flying boat, while Long Chen had changed his appearance. They stealthily found the stronghold of the original devil race. This was a place that Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian had agreed to meet. In the Devil Abyss, Yu Ziaokian had helped him before immediately vanishing. He had to go see her. The Sacred Daughter has returned to the clan. She implored me to bring you to the skyscraping world as soon as you came. Within the secret stronghold was a life star elder of the original Devil Race. Did something happen in the original Devil Race? Asked Long Chen solemnly. Last time. The seventh elder had been forced to leave hastily due to something happening. This time, Yu Ziaokian hadn't even had time to stay a few days. It sounded like something serious had happened. Yes, it's an issue with the skyscraping world. Do you want to start going now and talk on the way? Long Chen nodded, and with that elder, they began flying toward the martial heaven sea ring on a flying boat. On the way, the elder explained that the skyscraping world was a minor world. And now that the Great Era was descending, the Martial Heaven Continent's world energy was squeezing it, causing cracks to appear in many parts of it. Those spatial cracks opened the path for demonic beasts to invade. The demonic beasts had started coming a year ago. The original Devil Race had sent blockades to the spatial cracks to kill the demonic beasts that came out. However, it wasn't that they were too strong, but that they came in an unending tide. As time passed, the spatial cracks grew larger, and stronger demonic beasts started to appear. There were now over 10 major spatial cracks in the skyscraping world. The largest one was over a thousand miles long. Powerful demonic beasts were constantly pouring into the skyscraping world, forcing the original devil race to defend day and night. 
the majority of the original devil race's energy was being taken up by the demonic beasts. Even some of their experts that had been out on missions had been called back. Are the demonic beasts very powerful? Asked Long Chen. Their actual killing power isn't very great, but their numbers are too high, and there's no break to it. It has been over a year already, and it's exhausting. However, there's no easy solution, sighed the elder. Long Chen's eyes brightened. He looked behind him at the sleeping wild. He smiled. Perhaps my brother can resolve this problem of yours. The flying boat continued onward. Wild was still sleeping in the back. As there was nothing to eat, Wild stayed in this state to conserve energy. Other than being active and awake on the first day, Wild had been listless after waking up. Long Chen had examined his body and found that it was entering a similar state to when Long Chen had first met him. The majority of his cells were once more starting to fall into slumber, with only a small portion being active. In other words, putting it like how a human cultivated, Wild had advanced a whole level and was at the early stage of a new level. After advancing, Wild required even more meat than ever before. That Xuan beast expert had been at the Nether Passage realm, but even an arm and a leg from him had only been enough to fuel Wild for a short while. The current Wild was a real monster. The flying boat quickly flew to the northeastern part of the sea ring. After a few days, the elder had Long Chen stop at a certain coordinate within the sea. It was a very unremarkable location. The elder took out an ancient bone talisman and made a stroke with it through the air. A resplendent light enveloped the flying boat. Long Chen felt the flying boat enter a current of space. The elder made another stroke through the air with the bone talisman, bringing the flying boat into a different current. Long Chen knew that this was an extremely complicated method of transportation. Even if others found the location, without knowing the spatial nodes, they would never find the real entrance. This was 100% safe. After nine times, a transportation formation appeared ahead in the air. This transportation formation was actually in the sky, completely out of Long Chen's expectations. He had thought that the final transportation formation would be at the bottom of the sea ring. Once they were there, Long Chen saw four more elders sitting cross-legged in the air like four statues. They only opened their eyes when the flying boat approached. The devil character appeared in their eyes. These four elders might only be at the life star realm, but the pressure they exuded was startling. Long Chen's flying boat had its own defenses, but their eyes seemed to be able to see through anything. After looking at the flying boat, the four of them formed hand seals, causing the transportation formation's runes to light up. It formed a channel, and Long Chen's flying boat was drawn out of his control. The flying boat shuddered. The world in front of Long Chen's eyes changed. He felt an aura that was completely different from the Martial Heaven continent. This was a barren land with unending mountains and no tall trees, only some short vegetation. Most places were covered in bare rock. Those rocks looked like they had experienced many years. The aura of powerful experts still lingered on them. There were even some faint red marks. It seemed that the blood of experts had seeped into these rocks. The skyscraping world was originally a sacred and holy land, but after experiencing countless battles, it's gained its current appearance, said the elder sadly. Why has our original devil race become the target of all the martial heaven continents experts? Long Chen had wanted to ask this many times on the way here, but he had endured. Seeing the scene in front of him, he could no longer hold back his curiosity. He knew that this was most likely the original devil race's greatest secret. There had never been a good time for him to ask, but when Yu Ziaokian had helped him annihilate those Empyrean winged blood devils, he had thought of a certain possibility. You should personally ask the sacred daughter this question. The story's too long and having an old man like me tell it would make it sound tedious the elder smiled faintly. His eyes contained a different kind of meaning. The flying boat continued onward. The remnant pressure lingering on the ground grew stronger, and countless gorges appeared in the ground. Along the dark red rocks, it was like everything was shouting that this had once been a battlefield. After half a day, they finally arrived at a giant gate. This gate was so tall that it reached the clouds. A giant devil character was carved into the top of it. That devil character shone with divine light. It was like it was the mark of a god. In front of the giant gate was a beautiful woman. 
waiting with a smile. Long Chen also smiled. He finally got to see Yu Ziaokian again. Chapter 1724 Yu Zihan Translator Born to be today, Yu Ziaokian wasn't wearing a veil. Standing there, she was surpassingly beautiful as she watched Long Chen's flying boat approaching her. When Long Chen walked out, the elder had wisely left. Only Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian remained standing in front of the gate, their eyes locked, calmly looking at one another. After parting in the eastern wasteland, they hadn't seen each other for several years. Although Yu Ziaokian had appeared for a moment in the last battle, she had only been there for a moment. I missed you. Long Chen opened his mouth several times, in the end only capable of forcing out a few words. Yu Ziaokian's smile deepened. Her eyes turned into crescent moons, and those crescent moons had beautiful dewdrops inside them. Let's go. I'll bring you to my mom. Yu Ziaokian blushed slightly, but she still brazenly held Long Chen's hand, unable to conceal her delight. Ah, can you get someone to look after the flying boat? Wild is still sleeping inside. Long Chen pointed to the flying boat with a smile. He didn't want to wake Wild up for nothing. Once he woke up, he would be using up even more energy and feeling incredibly hungry. To Wild, hunger was a kind of torment. Don't worry, within the skyscraping world, everything is safe, said Yu Ziaokian. Holding hands, Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian slowly walked through the gates. Once he was through, Long Chen saw seven colored clouds and mist flowing through the air. Long Chen, you really are the original Devil Race's lucky star. Look. Even the skyscraping world's clouds are welcoming you. Yu Ziaokian smiled brightly. I feel like you're my lucky star. As long as you're by my side, I feel at peace. Long Chen greatly admired how erudite Yu Ziaokian was. It was like she knew about everything. With her present, there would be no unsolvable puzzles. Yu Ziaokian reddened even more. Her grip on his hand tightened. Was my daughter tricked out of her heart just like this at the start? Just at this moment, the clouds and mist parted, and a teasing voice rang out. A beautiful woman in her thirties appeared. Her hair was wrapped into a high bun, and there was a violet gold devil character on her forehead. She held a wooden staff in her hands. Long Chen jumped in shock upon seeing her. He hadn't sensed any aura. However, looking at her, he felt an innate nobility, as if anyone would have to be ashamed of their own inferiority to stand by her as if just looking at her was blasphemy. He felt a godlike air around her, as if the world's laws were prostrating themselves toward her. This was a feeling that Long Chen had never felt before. Without her aura or any pressure, she made people feel an urge to prostrate themselves toward her in worship. She was definitely an extremely powerful existence. He had only felt something similar from the high priest, but this woman's aura was even more special, with an immortal air to it. Mom. Yu Ziaokian blushed, as red as an apple. She lowered her head, incapable of looking at Long Chen. Long Chen knew that this powerful expert in front of him was Yu Ziaokian's mother. She was also the leader of the original devil race. However, even someone as grand as her didn't throw him off. He bowed. This junior greets senior. Senior's vision is omniscient. I precisely use this mouth of mine to con people so I can eat. However, when it comes to Ziaokian, your words are only half right. I still haven't managed to win Ziaokian's heart. But don't worry, I will definitely do my best. The woman laughed. What a shameless fellow. You can actually say such a thing without a hint of embarrassment. Although you Ziaokian and her mother looked somewhat similar, there were still differences between them. Her mother's beauty was one of nobility. One that was tranquil yet still invoked respect. As for you Ziaokian. Her beauty was one that could steal a person's soul just by looking at her. Long Chen had felt that his soul was being drawn away the first time he had seen her. That kind of beauty was very dangerous. It could easily consume a person, making it so that they couldn't extricate themselves. Just like Meng Chi, Yu Ziaokian was as beautiful as a celestial immortal, but the latter possessed a kind of soul-charming nature. Yu Ziaokian was as red as an apple but she was still holding Long Chen's hand. Senior overpraises me. I only have this little bit of ability. Long Chen smiled mischievously. If you weren't shameless, just how could you pick up girls? To pursue a beauty required a thick enough skin. 
The woman nodded slightly, putting away her smile. She suddenly became a bit grave. Long Chen, if I entrust Xiaokian to you, are you willing to look after her for a lifetime? I am willing. If anyone tries to hurt her, they'll have to step over my corpse, promised Long Chen. Although he and Yu Xiaokian had never explicitly shared their feelings for each other, they each knew the other's heart. Long Chen naturally wouldn't be ambiguous at such a thing. This was what he thought in his heart, and this was what he said with his mouth. Yu Xiaokian had been expecting such an answer, but hearing Long Chen personally say it still made her emotional. Back in the Jiuli secret realm, when they had just met, Long Chen had stood between her and the skeleton of the barbarian race expert that they couldn't possibly defeat. At that time, Long Chen had already left a seed in her heart. It was because of this seed that Yu Xiaokian's tender heart had been occupied by this man. In the immemorial path, during her tribulation, she had been implicated by four mysterious experts and almost killed by her lightning tribulation. Long Chen had furiously counterattacked, becoming enemies with the very heavens and tearing through their dome. That act had completely won her heart. Even if you have to become enemies with the entire world to be with Xiaokian, asked the woman profoundly. Long Chen suddenly smiled. Even if it weren't for Xiaokian, I am already surrounded by enemies. Nowadays, a few more enemies don't mean much to me. This smile was a bit bitter and helpless, but it was also grand. So what if he was surrounded by enemies? He had this one life. He would fight with it. Yu Xiaokian's mother nodded. She praised. Perhaps in this world, only an heir of the nine stars could say something so grand and domineering suddenly. The space behind Yu Xiaokian's mother surged, and countless experts appeared behind her. They actually numbered in the millions. I am Yu Zihan. I command all warriors of the original devil race to pay respect to the heir of the nine stars. Yu Xiaokian's mother solemnly bowed toward Long Chen. As for all the original devil race's experts behind her, they all went on one knee, their hands collapsed in front of their chests. Even Yu Xiaokian went down on one knee, her expression serious. Senior Long Chen panicked, not knowing what this was. Yu Xiaokian's mother slowly got up after completing the rite. The others also stood Novaloon.com Don't call me senior in the future. You can call me Aunt Han. Actually, the original devil race was originally your family. Yu Zihan smiled emotionally. Well, we'll be one family in the future. But how are we originally one family? Asked Long Chen. Because the original devil race has a close connection with the nine star line. Said Yu Zihan. Then, do you know the secrets of the nine stars? I know a bit. But I can't tell you. So you don't have to ask. Actually. There's no need for you to ask. The karma involved in this is far too terrifying, to the point that no one can endure it. Consider this. My original devil race is hunted down by the entire world. As for you, Long Chen, for just Xiaokian, you are willing to trust us without any hesitation. Do you not find it curious? Long Chen was silent for a moment. It really is a bit curious. Back when I learned Xiaokian was from the original devil race. Despite knowing it is a taboo, my intuition told me I could trust her. Are you saying, that's why we are one family? From the moment Xiaokian returned from the Jiuli secret realm, I knew about you. I didn't let Xiaokian go find you afterward because we didn't want to hold up your growth. But then a problem occurred in Xiaokian's cultivation. A random girl who snuck into the eastern wasteland's pill tower to find medicine actually ended up encountering you. At that time, I knew the relationship between the two of you was faded, so I no longer blocked you from having dealings with the original devil race. The facts show that you are the savior of the original devil race. Your arrival has ushered in a new era for us, said Yu Zihan. Long Chen had given them heavenly Tao fruits, which had allowed the original devil race to enter the martial heaven continent without worry about being discovered. They had then started to obtain the continent's resources as their own resources had almost been exhausted. Therefore, Long Chen had been the crux that had revived the original devil race from the brink of death. Do you know what this represents? Yu Zihan pointed to the resplendent violet gold devil character on her forehead. Chapter 1725 Blood Barbarian Emperor of Barbarians Translator Born to be Devil 
This character should be malevolent and sinister, one that invoked hatred and fear. However, when it was present on the original devil race's people, it seemed grand, righteous, and imposing instead. This devil is actually a divine seal. It is also a mark of glory, as well as a symbol of things done and things to be done. The divine seal of the original devil race is what allows us to unleash our divine power. All ordinary devil races will be suppressed by it. This is why Uziokian was able to help you suppress those Empyrean winged blood devils. Now do you understand? Uzivan's voice contained immense confidence and pride in what she said. The sacred light of the mark on her head covered her. This divine mark was the greatest honor of the original devil race. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. A mark of honor? Capable of suppressing all devils? Putting it like that. The original devil race was not a devil race, but a race to suppress the devil races. Are you curious? Our original devil race once suppressed the invaders. We once protected the martial heaven continent and its peace. Why would the continent's people suddenly start hunting us? Yu Zivan looked at Long Chen and sighed. Long Chen nodded. He was truly unable to comprehend this. The Martial Heaven Alliance and the Devil Races were mortal enemies. Based on the principles of the enemy of my enemy is my friend, they should be allied with the original Devil Race. But instead, they hunted the original Devil Race down. I truly wish to tell you. However, now is still not the time. Furthermore, since you trust us so much, whether or not you know it won't change anything, said Yu Zihan. Long Chen could only nod again. If Yu Zihan didn't want to say, he wouldn't continue asking. Even since returning from purgatory, he had felt the ephemeral existence known as karma more strongly. Some things were forbidden by the heavenly deos, and speaking of them would bring frightening consequences. Suddenly, furious roars came from the distance, and the ground began to shake. The original devil race's experts' expressions changed. The beast tide is erupting again. Everyone, get into position, shouted Yu Zihan. Long Chen and the others flew over. Long Chen saw over ten giant spatial cracks in front of them. Some of them were only a few miles long, while the largest was a thousand miles. Endless magical beasts were boring out of those cracks, their roar shaking the sky. Tenth tier magical beasts? and even 11th rank ones. Long Chen was amazed by what he saw. The original devil race experts were used to it though, and they raised their weapons. However, there were far too many magical beasts. They were practically endless. Wild. Wake up. Long Chen was both startled and delighted to see these magical beasts. He immediately woke Wild up. When Wild saw the sea of magical beasts, his eyes became like those of a hungry wolf. An 11th rank magical beast was instantly smashed through the head, and its body exploded into bloody mist. A powerful shockwave spread and annihilated all the surrounding magical beasts. This is, the power of the blood barbarian race. Wasn't that race annihilated a long time ago? Yu Zivan was shocked upon seeing Wild attack. Wild's attack also caused Long Chen to jump. The power of Wild's physical body was so terrifying. It was comparable to the attack of a divine item. Wild, go lighter or you won't have anything to eat. Wild was just standing there foolishly, blankly staring at the bloody mist in the air. Long Chen had no choice but to give him a reminder. Wild might have grown more powerful, but his head was still as slow as before. It seemed he still didn't understand what had just happened. Wild didn't seem to understand how his body had changed after his awakening. After Long Chen's reminder, Wild seemed to react and try to hold back. However, the 11th rank magical beasts in front of him were still blown apart by each of his attacks. He killed several 11th rank magical beasts without obtaining a single complete corpse. Wild was infuriated. He suddenly opened his mouth and breathed in like a whale absorbing water. A large whirlpool appeared in the air, sucking up the bloody mist. Wild repeatedly attacked and inhaled blowing up magical beasts and absorbing their blood. That appearance was a bit frightening. Wild. Aim for the ones with darker red bodies and stronger spatial fluctuations. Those are peak 11th rank magical beasts, shouted Long Chen. If Wild continued like this, he would be using up more energy than he consumed. It wouldn't be long before he would collapse and feel even hungrier. From the start. Long Chen had noticed that the magical beasts with dark red bodies had more powerful auras. 
Those were peak 11th rank magical beasts. Just by appearances, early, mid, late, and peak stage magical beasts were very difficult to tell apart. It was their auras that made it easier for people to differentiate. However, Wild didn't even know what an aura was, so Long Chen had taught him to recognize color and spatial fluctuations. Listening to his instructions, Wild began to target the strongest peak 11th rank magical beasts. Finally, a giant python's head was blown apart by Wild's fist, but its body was strong enough to survive after its head exploded. With a complete body, Wild delightedly took out a silver bowl. The bowl's runes lit up and sucked the giant python's body into it. This bowl was something Guo Ran had forged for Wild. Guo Ran had specially arranged it so that as long as Wild aimed the bowl at a magical beast's corpse, it would be automatically sucked in. The huge python was as small as a loach in the bowl. Wild gulped it down in one bite and went after other strong magical beasts. With Wild targeting the strongest magical beasts, the other magical beasts also had a bad time. Each of his punches caused powerful shockwaves that blew them apart. Suddenly, an angry roar rang out from within the spatial crack. A blood-colored lion came out. Its body was several times larger than the other 11th rank magical beasts. The other magical beasts actually quivered and fled from it. A half-step nether passage magical beast. Long Chen was startled. This lion's aura was shocking and already starting to reach the 12th rank. Once it successfully advanced, it would be comparable to nether passage experts. However, this half-step nether passage lion was now covered in fresh wounds. Blood was still gushing out of them. Looking from the half-step nether passage lion to the spatial crack, Long Chen instantly understood that the spatial crack would not allow magical beasts of this level to pass. This lion had to have forced its way through, causing it to be badly injured. Seeing that lion, Wild roared and charged at it. Boom. The lion's mountain-sized claw smashed toward Wild. The ground was blown apart, and powerful chi waves slaughtered the surrounding magical beasts. However, the half-step nether passage lion let out an angry roar after its attack landed. It pulled up its claw, which was now covered in blood. Wild's body had transformed. He was now a 300 meter tall giant. He had grabbed hold of the claw and was crazily biting it, tearing away its hard exterior, flesh, and bones all at once. The lion roared and flung Wild away. However, Wild shot after it again, clamping down on its throat and taking a big bite. Wild's mouth was now giant considering his size. His bloody teeth had a cold sparkle to them as he bit down. The half-step nether passage lion had huge chunks of its flesh ripped out by Wild over and over again. Even its tough defenses were completely useless against Wild's sharp teeth. It was like he was biting into meat bonds. How, how terrifying, how savage. The original devil races experts were all stunned. This kind of battle scene had surpassed their imaginations. The blood barbarians are truly worthy of being the emperors amongst the barbarian race. This kind of power is unimaginable even Yu Zihan sighed emotionally upon seeing that the half-step nether passage lion was unable to shake Wild off at all as he tore into its flesh. Senior, how much do you know about the barbarian race? Asked Long Chen. He was very curious about Wild's origins. I don't know much. The barbarian race is extremely powerful and very terrifying. They're called the wildest warriors of the ten planar worlds. They don't need to cultivate. They just eat. Other than humans, they eat anything. And they're split into 77 different races, including the power barbarians, spirit barbarians, bone barbarians, walking barbarians, and more. However, it is the blood barbarians that possess the most terrifying bloodline and the most terrifying combat power. They led the barbarian race. As for wild. He is a blood barbarian and is in his second blood morph. It seems his blood chi is still very lacking so his transformation isn't complete. There are many innate divine abilities that he has yet to awaken. Explained Yu Zihan. Just as Yu Zihan was explaining, Wild had already bitten the half-step nether passage lion to death and was now finishing up its body. The blood barbarian's devouring and biting abilities are innate. Their teeth become stronger with each transformation. Even divine items can be shattered with a bite, said Yu Zihan. This kind of talent was frightening. 
they essentially grew a mouthful of divine items in the form of teeth. After finishing off the lion, Wilde suddenly let out an excited cry and charged toward the largest spatial crack. Chapter 1726 Tender Emotions Translator Born to be as Wilde charged through the spatial crack, it rumbled and shook. Spatial blades exploded out of it. This spatial crack was like a flowing river. Going from the other side to this world was following the flow, but now Wilde was going against the current. It was similar to how Guo Ran had been kicked through the spatial channel before. He needed to endure extreme spatial pressure. Back then, even Guo Ran's armor had been deformed. However, as Wilde charged through, those powerful spatial blades all bounced off his skin, unable to cause the slightest harm to him, just relying on his physical body. Wilde charged through the spatial blades. Wilde's physical body had to be even stronger than Guo Ran's armor. Boom. With a final intense shudder, Wilde managed to charge into the other world. His figure vanished from sight. Once he was in the other world, the magical beasts charging out of the spatial cracks dropped in number. It could be imagined how Wilde had drawn all those magical beasts' attacks. However, Long Chen wasn't concerned about Wilde's safety at all. Tossing wild into a sea of magical beasts was like tossing a tiger amongst rabbits. Those magical beasts weren't able to cause any real injuries to him. Furthermore, as he continued to eat, his power would grow. Perhaps wild would be able to obtain enough energy to fully satisfy his second form. Starfall. With wild gone, Long Chen tossed out a ball that exploded amongst the magical beasts. Golden flames devoured them. The magical beasts on the battlefield were cleaned up in an instant. The warriors of the original devil race didn't have to face any more pressure. Noveloon.com CM Anton, are these magical beasts useful to our original devil race? Asked Long Chen. With Yu Zivan's power, she was more than capable of annihilating these magical beasts with a wave of her hand. In fact, he estimated that her power was more than enough to seal some of these spatial cracks. Sometimes just words had the magical effect of drawing two people together quicker. Long Chen's words made it sound like they were already one family. Yu Zivan nodded. In truth, these small spatial cracks were opened by me. Long Chen was startled, not understanding why she would do this. It sounded like she had been bored and looking for trouble. Yu Zivan looked at Long Chen emotionally. She continued, Our original devil race has been hunted down by the continent for so many years. We were unable to replenish many of the resources that we used up, and we've long since lost our former glory. But with your help, we are finally able to walk on the continent again and do business. We're starting to get many resources that we lacked. However, rejuvenating the race requires a baptism of blood and fire, or even if we're stronger, we would still just be stronger prey. So this is tempering for them. I calculated the spatial nodes and tore open the space to allow these magical beasts to invade, using them to temper the geniuses of the original devil race. Although they are very talented, without experiencing true life and death battles, their true combat power will always be limited. It's just that I didn't expect that after I opened a few cracks, suddenly they combined into one giant crack. The cracks I opened were originally perfect and would have only allowed early 11th rank magical beasts through. Any stronger ones coming would cause the spatial channel to react and unleash spatial blades to kill them before they could pass. It was a safe and convenient way of training. But this giant spatial crack was not within my expectations. Now Long Chen understood. Any race needed a powerful enemy to train themselves with. The Martial Heaven Continent might be their enemy but they still didn't have the power to fight back. Without any fighting, even geniuses would rot into trash. They would never become true warriors. Yu Zivan's decision was the right one, but many things in this world never went according to plan. Fortunately, this current situation was still within her control. Since Yu Zivan was capable of opening these cracks, she should be capable of closing them as well. This was an even faster way to temper their junior generation. It was to make them feel a sense of crisis, like they were needed to protect their home. Long Chen saw that the warriors fighting were at the soul transformation realm and below. The Life Star Elders would only go help during dangerous times. They were there just to make sure there wasn't anything unexpected that caused huge casualties. Just now, 
because of the sudden surge of magical beasts, with a particularly large number of 11th rank magical beasts, even the elders had been having some trouble handling them. Fortunately, Long Chen and Wild had resolved that, seeing that Long Chen was capable of annihilating these powerful magical beasts with just a wave of his hand, the original devil race's experts were stunned. Although they had long since heard of Long Chen, for many of them, it was their first time seeing him. This casual attack of his had won him their profound respect. Although they were also in the soul transformation realm, Long Chen's combat power could only be described as monstrous. He could kill such powerful existences without batting an eye as if it was an incredibly minor thing. Xiaokian, why don't you take Long Chen to the ancestral lands for a stroll? Seeing that the current situation was handled, Yu Zivan turned to Yu Xiaokian. Yu Xiaokian nodded, and then she suddenly blushed. Right in front of Yu Zivan she brazenly held Long Chen's hand. The two of them left, leaving Yu Zivan with only a faint smile. She didn't say anything. The two of them progressed deeper into the skyscraping world. Long Chen hadn't expected the skyscraping world to be so marvelous. It was like the spirit world. However, a large part of it was now a barren wasteland. Yu Xiaokian explained that there had once been a terrible battle, a battle strong enough to influence the laws of this world. The vitality in those barren wastelands had been stripped away, and their situation had been extremely bleak, especially with the inability to get more resources from the martial heaven continent. Originally, the skyscraping world was a sacred land, based on the historical murals. It was filled with beautiful ancient forests and wonderful sights. Unfortunately, all of that was destroyed in battle. Battle really is the most frightening thing. No matter what you have, battle will mercilessly strip it from you. Your resources, your wealth, your inheritance, and even your life. That's why I hate battle you Xiaokian suddenly stopped. She held Long Chen, resting her head on his chest. For some reason, she began to cry. I'm afraid that one day, battle will also take you from me. I'm very afraid. Yu Xiaokian tightly held on to Long Chen. Long Chen immediately understood that she knew of his battles during these years. He had been constantly fighting, going through constant danger. She was afraid he would die. Long Chen was extremely moved. Just this simple I'm very afraid was superior to millions of oaths of eternal love. In this chaotic world, nothing was eternal. No one knew if they would live to see the sunset the next day. No one knew the future. Battle was that cruel. A bright smile could die in an instant. This was something everyone was helpless about. The majority of people were peaceful, but those who wanted peace were weaker. Targets to be preyed on. So when the weak asked for peace, it was a joke. If they really wanted peace, they had to get stronger so that they could protect everything they wanted to protect. Long Chen also disliked battle, but he had to fight. He had to stand with his blade becoming a demon king. Long Chen held Yu Xiaokian tightly and rubbed her cheek. He gave her a soft kiss on the forehead. Don't be afraid. I promise. No one will be able to take me from you. Not even a death god. Not even the heavens. Yu Xiaokian trembled, her face growing even redder. She didn't dare to look up at him, so she just held him tightly, listening to his powerful heartbeat. The sound made her feel safe. It was like with him present. Even if the sky collapsed, he would hold it up for her. After a while, Yu Xiaokian finally raised her head. She had finished crying, but she still had some tears left on her face. Those tears were like pearls trickling down white jade. Xiaokian, you're beautiful unable to control himself upon seeing this beautiful, charming face. Long Chen held Yu Xiaokian as his fiery lips met her wet ones. Chapter 1727 Original Devil Ancestor Translator Born to be Yu Xiaokian's body shuddered. Her arms tightly held Long Chen's waist as they immersed themselves in that feeling. Eventually, the two of them slowly parted. Yu Xiaokian still had wet marks on her face, and she didn't dare to look at Long Chen's fiery gaze. Instead, she plastered her face into Long Chen's sturdy chest, feeling his wild heartbeat. Her heart was doing the same. It's like a drum. Yu Xiaokian suddenly smiled. Long Chen's heartbeat really was like a drum. It's like a honey peach. Long Chen also made a comparison. 
Hua Yu Ziaokian looked at him in confusion. Long Chen wriggled his eyebrows at her and licked his lips. Fragrant and delicious. Scoundrel. Yu Ziaokian couldn't help lightly hitting him a few times for that joke. Making Long Chen laugh. Stop. Otherwise, I'll tell my mom you bullied me. That's just what I was looking for. If she knew, would she immediately urge us to finish our marriage vows? HMPH. That's a nice dream. If an outsider wants to marry one of the original devil race's women, they need the approval of Mixahaya, our god. Then they'll need to accomplish three missions and get the approval of the entire race. Furthermore, he, the original devil's race inheritance is matriarchal. Doesn't that mean our children would have my surname you Ziaokian laughed. Ziaokian, aren't we one family? What do you think about reversing this sequence? What sequence? What I mean is, let's make it simpler. Let's first have children before dealing with the rest. Scoundrel, you wish. Yu Ziaokian ran away. Long Chen's words were too roguish. Long Chen laughed and caught up to her. Holding hands, the two of them continued onward. Ziaokian, I thought you knew how to read minds? It seems you can no longer read mine, said Long Chen. Back in the Jiuli secret realm when he had first encountered her, Yu Ziaokian seemed to be able to read all his thoughts. HMPH. I told you that it wasn't a mind-reading art. It was just guessing a person's thought process based on their spiritual fluctuations. Heartbeat. Eyes. Aura. Blood flow. Movements. Etc. It's only useful against strangers. My mom taught it to me back then so I wouldn't get tricked by strangers. Now that we're already this familiar with each other, it's useless Yu Ziaokian glared at Long Chen. Long Chen was delighted to hear that. Then wouldn't he be able to continue teasing other beauties without worry? He walked alongside her, feeling her warm hand and smelling her scent. He felt relaxed and content. Long Chen, don't you feel tired from fighting and killing all day in the martial heaven continent? Aren't you sick of it? I am sick of it. I got sick of it a long time ago. There are so many idiots who have had water get into their brains. They buzz around me like houseflies all day. As for being tired? It's not that bad. When I think about it, all my efforts are so the people I love will feel happier and safer. Yu Ziaokian's hand tightened around Long Chen's. Leaning against him, she felt like he was the one who made her feel safest in this world. Two huge mountains appeared as they were walking. They formed a natural gate. Here, Yu Ziaokian let go of Long Chen's hand and her expression grew solemn. This is the ancestral land. Follow me. Yu Ziaokian and Long Chen passed through the two mountains. After a dozen miles, they reached a giant palace. It was an ancient palace, one that was grand and imposing. Although some areas were damaged and some looked like they had been patched, that did not hide its sacred air. Inside the palace was a statue 297 meters tall. It looked as if it had been made using bright jade. Its expression was vivid, and it looked like a real person. The statue was of a woman sitting cross-legged. She looked to be in her thirties and had a faint smile. A devil character could be seen on her forehead. It was rainbow-colored and flowing with divine light. This is the original devil ancestor. Yu Ziaokian respectfully knelt down and paid respect to the statue. The etiquette she used was one of worship and offering sacrifice to an ancestor. In the cultivation world, many times when people offered sacrifices to their ancestors, they were actually offering sacrifices to their heroic spirits, using their devout faith energy to preserve those spirits so that they could protect their descendants. In the secular world, there was a similar ritual, but it was simpler. They offered sacrifices to their ancestors as a reminder to themselves of how they had ended up in this world. Without their ancestors, they wouldn't exist. So this was a form of thanks. Of course, in the secular world, there were no heroic spirits remaining. That was why many cultivators turned their noses up at this secular rite, not realizing that they were the ones that had forgotten their roots. This woman was Yu Ziaokian's ancestor. Sooner or later, Yu Ziaokian would be Long Chen's wife, so this person could also count as Long Chen's elder. Hence, Long Chen also followed along with Yu Ziaokian's etiquette. However, he had just moved when Yu Ziaokian's expression completely changed and she grabbed onto him, preventing him from moving. Her face was pale. What is it? 
Long Chen also jumped in fright. Long Chen, you have to remember, as the heir of the nine stars, no one is qualified to receive your kowtow other than your parents and closest family. Even heaven and earth, even gods are not qualified. If you did kneel to them, the heavens would crash, and the earth would wither. Even gods would fall. Yu Xiaokian's frightened expression had yet to fade even though she had managed to stop Long Chen in time. Is the heir of the nine stars so amazing? Long Chen, none of us can divulge too much about the secrets of the nine stars. The more we tell you, the worse it will be for you. It would be harming you. But you need to understand that the heir of the nine stars is the most respected existence in the world. You cannot lower your head to anyone, not even heaven or earth. Perhaps you've already sensed some clues. You are not accepted by the heavens because boom. Suddenly, divine pressure and angry light exploded out of the ancestral statue, interrupting Yu Xiaokian's words. Ancestor, please calm your rage. I know I was wrong. Yu Xiaokian hastily knelt toward the statue again. Once she admitted her fault, the divine pressure and light faded. It seemed that it had been a warning. Long Chen. Many things about you are taboo, so don't blame the ancestor. She is doing this for you. Yu Xiaokian saw that Long Chen's expression was a bit angry, and she knew it was because he was feeling resentful toward the statue for scaring her. So she hastily explained. Long Chen felt a bit better from that explanation. In his heart, Yu Xiaokian was already his woman, and he wouldn't let her suffer. Yu Xiaokian began to pull Long Chen away. In the end, Long Chen only cupped his fists toward the statue. After all, it was still Yu Xiaokian's ancestor. Once they were past the statue, they entered a long corridor. The two sides of the corridor were filled with ancient murals. Many of them were motley, and some places had been damaged too badly to be understood. However, nothing had been repaired at all. They were still in their original form. These murals were carved by the ancestors of my race. However, so much time has passed, and it's unknown just how many wars the skyscraping world has gone through. This is the place enemies wanted to destroy. So some places are already incomplete. The material used to create these carvings is very precious, and the ancestors' wills and divine charm are still present within them. With our current level, it's impossible to restore them, so we don't even dare to try. Side Yu Xiaokian. Her voice contained respect for those ancestors, as well as sadness for the original devil race's decline. Things decline and prosper. When things get so bad that they can't get any worse, they can only get better, comforted Long Chen. He knew that Yu Xiaokian was actually carrying just as many things on her back as he was. Having a powerful sense of responsibility, she wanted to help the original devil race to escape its current predicament. That was immense pressure. In truth, there were quite a few areas where Long Chen and Yu Xiaokian had things in common. That made Long Chen understand the hardships she was under and feel more love for her. Although he had more things on his back, he felt that as a man, he had to face those things. These difficulties, they were a whetstone to temper himself on. As long as he used them well, they would become his stepping stones to grow. Xiaokian, don't worry. I will help you carry this burden. Trust me. Yes. Xiaokian smiled happily. Now she had someone she could rely on. Furthermore, Long Chen's shoulder always made her feel at peace. They continued onward through the corridor. Suddenly, Long Chen paused as he saw a shocking scene. Chapter 1728 Skyscraping Ancestral Land Translator Born to be the murals here were mostly of scenes of the original devil race fighting against the devil creatures. There were all kinds of devil creatures depicted in the murals. The number of different creatures shown numbered in the tens of thousands. Some were as large as mountains, while some were as tiny as flies. There were mountains of corpses depicted. Some were the devil creatures, while some were warriors from the original devil race. It was a bloody and cruel sight. They quickly reached the end of the corridor, and there, Long Chen saw a scene that made his heart shake. It was a giant mural, with millions of the original devil races experts kneeling on the ground. Their leader was a beautiful woman, also kneeling, her hands crossed before her. She was looking up, her expression sacred. A brush was pressed against her forehead, leaving behind a seven-colored divine rune. 
that Divine Rune was the devil character. Long Chen instantly understood that this devil character, this Divine Rune, was not innate to the original devil race. It was something that had been bestowed upon them. What was truly shocking though was that the person holding the brush had nine stars behind him. The nine stars were unleashing brilliant divine light. And even through the mural, Long Chen felt a terrifying pressure that transcended through time. Regretfully, the divine light was too bright. It was blinding. Those nine stars were like blazing suns. And their light drowned out the appearance of that person. Long Chen could only see a single hand through that light. The hand was also covered in divine light and difficult to see clearly. It was hard to even say whether it belonged to a man or a woman. Upon looking at those nine stars, Long Chen's aura began to slowly rise. The nine star hegemon body art began to circulate on its own. Long Chen closed his eyes and felt a kind of summons. Perhaps he would be able to learn some secrets relating to the nine stars. Regretfully, when he opened his eyes, that feeling of being summoned had vanished. The nine stars in the mural were the same and he felt a resonance. But all he had was a close feeling with them. A feeling like coming from the same source. He couldn't help being disappointed. He knew too little about the nine stars. That made him lack confidence. Who is this person? Can you say? Asked Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian merely shook her head. Long Chen nodded. Many things were forbidden. But looking at this mural. It seemed the original devil race's divine mark had been bestowed to them by this person. He examined the person. The nine stars revolving around them threw the laws of heaven and earth into chaos. They were so powerful that they could penetrate the cosmos. It was as if all things had to bow down before them. Although it was just a mural and the leftover artistic will was from the original devil race's experts, Long Chen still felt that compared to the entire cosmos. He was an incredibly insignificant speck of dust. The two of them were in different dimensions, and it was impossible to compare their power. Is this the realm that is obtained when all nine stars are activated Long Chen side? Without seeing the real thing, he couldn't learn anything. The nine stars were too brilliant. This was just a mural. Hence, Long Chen only felt a slight feeling but was unable to understand anything from it. The Divine Seal. The Devil Character was awarded to us by a supreme existence. It is an immense honor, as well as an immense responsibility. After countless years of fighting against the devil race, our divine seal has a great suppressive effect against them. That's why I could help you suppress those Empyrean winged blood devils. However, I'm too weak, and using my divine seal on such a scale exhausts all my energy. I can only keep it up for a short moment. If it had been my mom instead, then with just her divine seal, she could have annihilated all those Empyrean winged blood devils in an instant. Yu Ziaokian smiled proudly when she spoke of her mother. Clearly, she worshipped her mother. But then, why didn't anyone use their divine seals against the magical beasts just now? Did you not permit them to use it for training purposes? Asked Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian shook her head. No, magical beasts are not part of the devil race. Their bloodlines are completely different. So magical beasts are not suppressed by our divine seal. Let's keep going. The 10,000 devil blood pool is up ahead. The two of them walked down a twisting stone path that wound around the mountains. In a region where nine mountains formed a circle, there was a blood-colored pool. This pool was as flat as a mirror, and there wasn't the slightest ripple on it. However, Long Chen felt an immense amount of energy within it. This is the 10,000 Devil Blood Pool. It is where our original Devil Race trains. Do you want to try it? Yu Ziaokian smiled. How do I try it? Asked Long Chen. This pool was created using the essence blood of 10,000 devils. Through the formation inside, it can duplicate a person. That person will have the exact same combat power, techniques, and cultivation base as you. In other words, you will be fighting yourself. It's a very tough trial. It took me three tries to pass it, but it can really stimulate a person's potential, said Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen shook his head. Then never mind. I already went through such a trial in the immemorial path. It's useless for me. In the immemorial path, he had ended up in a mysterious underground trial. It was extremely terrifying. That trial had created a version of himself that was just slightly stronger than him in every single way. However, 
the formation in the trial was unable to duplicate the nine-star hegemon body art. In the end, he defeated it and met the Eastern Wasteland Bell. This blood pool was similar to that trial, but there was no danger of dying here. It really was a good place to train. If he could bring the Dragonblood Warriors to try this, he thought it would be very beneficial. Yu Ziaokian didn't force him to try it. Although she had been looking forward to seeing that kind of immense battle, it wasn't that important. They passed the blood pool and could see a giant altar ahead of them. Here, countless divine runes were circulating all over the place, making them feel like they were at the bottom of a sea. This is the skyscraping divine altar, the most sacred place for our original devil race. It is what maintains the skyscraping world's karmic luck. Similar to the divine pools in the sects of the martial heaven continent Long Chen nodded. It seemed that this place was the core of the original devil race. It was no wonder there were so many battle scars outside. Those people's goal had been to destroy this divine altar. Back in the heaven suppressing magic sect, Long Chen had destroyed their ancestral statue and their divine pool, causing them to decline. Now, there was no longer a heaven suppressing magic sect in this world and there would never be one again. If he hadn't destroyed their ancestral statue or divine pool, then with their foundation and considering that a great era had descended, they would have ended up becoming a behemoth. However, with their divine pool destroyed, their karmic luck had run out. Even their divine item was implicated. Although karmic luck sounded illusory and without substance, it existed. If the original devil race's divine altar was destroyed, the original devil race would also fade away. Yu Ziaokian and Long Chen walked onto the altar. Divine light flowed here, wrapping around the two of them. They felt like they were being immersed in sunlight. All their pores opened, and they felt relaxed enough to sleep. I can sense you again. Just as Long Chen was feeling relaxed, that ancient and familiar voice rang out in his head. So what if you can feel it? You can't even hear me, and I don't understand what you're saying. Long Chen brushed off this irritating voice. It doesn't matter if you can't understand me. All you need to know is that if you continue like this, you and every person beside you will die to others. Furthermore, their deaths will be very miserable, responded the voice. You, you can hear me. Don't talk about such meaningless things. Long Chen, although our connection has been sporadic, we have been paying close attention to you from the start. You are too weak. Or perhaps I should say that you are too soft. Even now, you aren't cultivating according to the will of the nine-star hegemon body art. Geniuses are solitary figures. Only mediocre people group together. Do you still not understand the meaning of the hegemon body? Asked that voice rebukingly. Perhaps I really don't know what the true meaning of the hegemon body is. But I am clear about my own goals. If a person abandons the ones they love in order to get stronger they will lose their future motivation and path. What's the point of being a hegemon if you've lost your path? Long Chen had already stopped caring about this voice. He had lost his initial curiosity a long time ago. In fact, he even felt a bit of disgust toward it. Each time, it only told him to hurry up but never cared about his feelings. Each day, he was fighting on the border of death, and he was under enough pressure. However, this voice kept urging him on not giving him any useful information. Perhaps, I am not qualified to criticize the great heir of the nine stars. However, I have a responsibility to warn you. Your time is running out. Your enemies have passed through the wall of reincarnation, and they are searching for you through all kinds of tiny traces. Once they find you, you and the people beside you, and perhaps everyone on that star, will be annihilated. They will not permit any heir of the nine stars to exist within the ten planar worlds, sighed the voice. Long Chen calmly considered this information for a moment. Tell me, who am I? You are you. Then why have I been thrown into this chaotic vortex? Because you are the chosen son of fate. You have no way out. You can only get stronger or die. Furthermore, your life and death relates to the entire ten planar worlds, to the continuation of millions of stars. As the heir of the nine stars, you have this heavy burden. You buzz. Just as the voice was still speaking, Long Chen felt a burst of pain in his head. An unfamiliar voice stabbed into his soul like a needle. He, I finally found a nine star heir. Just wait for your death. 
the voice's demonic laughter made Long Chen's blood turn ice cold. At the same time, he felt this person leaving behind a mark in his mind see, boom. However, the mark had just formed when a cyan light and a black saber light exploded. Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal worked together to destroy the mark. Long Chen's body shook. When he opened his eyes, the voices in his head had vanished. His face was a bit pale, but there was a sharp light in his eyes. Chapter 1729 9th A Vestige of Soul Transformation Translator Born to be how dangerous. That person was able to reach you from a whole other world, discarding any spatial restrictions to leave a spiritual mark. Evil Moon's voice contained a trace of shock. It had immediately sensed something wrong and worked together with the heaven flipping seal to erase the spiritual mark, but this had still made it jump. Long Chen, what is it? asked Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen should have been bathing in this place's blessing. This place was greatly beneficial to the soul. The environment here was similar to the blessing of the life god tree in the spirit world. However, Long Chen had just closed his eyes for a moment before being startled awake. Startling Yu Ziaokian. It's nothing. Long Chen told Yu Ziaokian not to worry, but inside, he was shocked and enraged. He was now certain he had been drawn into a terrifying vortex. Clearly, some terrifying expert had managed to eavesdrop on his conversation with that mysterious voice. That expert was also able to leave a mark on his soul from a different world. This kind of technique was something he had never heard of. Long Chen had no idea who those people were, or what they wanted. That made him feel uneasy, as well as angry. Don't worry, although that fellow is so powerful that they are beyond our imagination. The heaven flipping seal and I destroyed their spiritual mark instantly, so they won't be able to pinpoint your location. However, you also can't be careless. That person was able to leave a spiritual mark on you from an endless distance away, without you even being able to resist. They won't be able to lock onto any of the stars, but they'll be able to narrow it down to one area. It's just that we have no idea how narrow that area is. Either way, you are really pressed for time, said Evil Moon gravely. Novaloon.com How strong do you feel that person is? asked Long Chen. I can't tell. Perhaps only sovereigns would be able to block them though, said Evil Moon after a moment's pause. It couldn't be sure. Long Chen shook his head. Sovereigns were legendary existences on the Martial Heaven continent. Only five had ever appeared in history. Just how powerful had Evil Moon been back then? Despite that, it hadn't been able to even receive a single blow from Sovereign Yun Shang and had been forged into a divine weapon. Furthermore, Evil Moon said that sovereigns would only be able to resist, not win. That level of power was enough to cause despair. When the mark on Long Chen's soul was destroyed, he also lost his connection to the mysterious voice. Long Chen guessed that the voice had sensed that it was being watched by someone else, which was how that terrifying expert had found him in the first place. Now that Long Chen had been noticed, that voice probably wouldn't contact him again for fear of implicating him. Long Chen, that voice is correct. Although I don't understand your cultivation technique, I can sense that you are suppressing it. Like this, you are cultivating in the opposite direction the cultivation technique is trying to go, and you naturally won't be able to cultivate as fast. You need to fully release yourself, said Evil Moon. I know, I know the Nine Star Hegemon body art better than you, and I know that I'm suppressing it which is why my cultivation speed is slower. However, you can't feel just how domineering this technique is. It far surpasses your imagination. If I unleashed it, it would control me, not the other way around. Sooner or later, I would be its slave. I can be domineering, but I have to maintain my rationality. I can kill, but I have to maintain my bottom line. I can be arrogant, but I can't go too far. Even being domineering has to have a limit. If I overdo it, I won't just harm my enemies, but I will also harm my friends and family. My cultivation path will become one where I love only myself, where I only care about myself. That kind of domineeringness is the opposite of my will. The Nine Star Hegemon Body Arts domineering will is one that demands I be the only strong person in this world, that everyone else should kneel down before me, regardless of friend or foe. I can be domineering to my enemies but not my friends, 
so I need to suppress the nine-star hegemon body art's influence on me, said Long Chen helplessly. Currently, he was walking on a tightrope. He had to cultivate carefully. He knew how terrifying the nine-star hegemon body art was. If he cultivated according to its will, he would be unstoppable. However, it was too domineering, to the point that even the master would become a slave to it. Long Chen didn't want to be a combat maniac who forgot about everything else then he would lose everything that he loved. No matter how strong a person was, if they didn't have even one person that they cared about, they would just be a terrifying monster. They couldn't be called a real human. Your human race's emotions are really troublesome. In any case, I don't understand them. However, what you're saying seems to have some sense to it. Evil Moon didn't quite understand the emotions Long Chen was talking about, but it acknowledged his logic. After being together for so long, Evil Moon had gone from first snorting derisively at the people Long Chen tried to protect, to feeling something it had never felt before. That feeling was trust. Experts were solitary figures. Long Chen's way of doing things was against this world's normal way. However, the Dragonblood warriors all followed him with unwavering trust. He had united the hearts of over 10,000 people, allowing them to unleash endless power. That had shocked Evil Moon. The dark evil dragon race relied on devouring all life forms to get stronger. They not only had to be on guard against other races, but they also had to be wary against their fellow dragons, even their fathers, mothers, brothers. They all had to be on guard against each other, since they devoured other races to get stronger, including other powerful enemies. They became strong very quickly. It was precisely because Evil Moon had grown so strong that its confidence had overinflated, and it had decided to challenge a sovereign. The reason why Evil Moon was in its current state was precisely due to its wild arrogance that had swallowed its rationality. If it had been like Long Chen, it wouldn't have ended up like this. So even Evil Moon had to acknowledge Long Chen's words. A person couldn't be too arrogant, or it would be all too easy for sudden calamity to befall them. What you said has given me a clue about another way I can try to cultivate Long Chen turned toward you Ziaokian and said, Ziaokian, can I stay here and cultivate for a few days? Of course. But why cultivate here? This place is designed to cleanse the heart and soul. It puts you in a fetus-like state. So how can you cultivate like that? Asked you Ziaokian. This fetus-like state was similar to a deep sleep. In that state. You wouldn't be able to form your own thoughts, let alone cultivate. I have my own plans. I want to use the spiritual blessing of this place to resist the nine-star hegemon body art's influence on me. During this time, Long Chen hadn't been eating medicinal pills to increase his cultivation base not because he hadn't had time, but because as his cultivation base grew, the power of the nine-star hegemon body art also grew, and its influence over him increased. Right now, the nine-star hegemon body art's influence had reached a grave level. Sometimes, the tiniest provocation would make Long Chen feel an urge to kill. In fact, he even felt a desire to slaughter anyone who went against him, a will to dominate the world alone. That was a frightening desire. If a person was so conceited that they couldn't even see themselves clearly, they would become completely lost. That was the greatest danger. In Long Chen's eyes, those who were devoured by their own power were all idiots. He had encountered many such idiots who thought themselves to be unrivaled. People who thought that the world should bow toward them. People who thought that anyone who went against them was blaspheming them. They both should and would be killed without feeling the slightest feeling of responsibility or guilt. It was precisely because he didn't want to become such a person that Long Chen was resisting the nine-star hegemon body art's influence. If he allowed his cultivation base to rise too quickly, he would be unable to suppress it. However, this place was blessed by the original devil race. It could strengthen his suppression of the nine-star hegemon body art. Yu Ziaokian didn't ask too many questions since Long Chen was confident. She stood outside to guard him. With Yu Ziaokian outside, Long Chen took a deep breath. His divine ring appeared behind him, and five stars lit up in his eyes. Ripples began to spread through the air. As expected, with the hegemon will suppressed by the blessing here, I can increase my cultivation base. Long Chen nodded. 
This was the best method to increase his cultivation base right now. He sat down and opened his mouth. The medicinal pills in the primal chaos space began to pour into his mouth like a river. These medicinal pills were the result of Huo Long refining day and night. There were giant mountains of them in the primal chaos space. Before this, he hadn't dared to increase his cultivation base too quickly. But now he had no more worries. He activated the devouring ability that Evil Moon had taught him. Boom. A vast aura grew. Long Chen's cultivation base instantly reached the fifth vestige of soul transformation. This devouring ability belonged to the dark evil dragon race. It could devour heaven and earth and refine all things. Boom. Another two hours passed, and Long Chen's cultivation base advanced once more. That made Yu Ziyokian jump. This kind of speed was too shocking. Boom. Six hours. Long Chen advanced once more. The altar space began to twist due to Long Chen's aura. Boom. Every few hours, an explosive sound would ring out. After two days, Long Chen opened his eyes. I finally found a shortcut to cultivating the nine star hegemon body art. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed, his laughter shaking the sky. His surging aura showed that he had advanced to the ninth vestige of soul transformation. Chapter 1730 Heaven Shaking Divine Might Translator. Born to be Long Chen stood, his aura causing his clothes to billow. His eyes looked like two sharp blades that could pierce through space, so sharp that people wouldn't dare to look at them directly. In the distance, Yu Ziyokian, who had been protecting him, felt a painful pang in her soul when she looked at him. The current Long Chen was like a sharp sword. He was so sharp that it hurt her. He had changed, becoming even more imposing and domineering, more like a battle god who could look down on all. This is the hegemon side of the nine-star hegemon body art that Long Chen described. Yu Ziyokian was deeply shaken. She was even a bit afraid. The current Long Chen was so domineering that it blocked out all emotions. He was heartless, a death god looking down on its subjects. Yu Ziyokian felt that this was no longer the Long Chen she knew. She finally understood why Long Chen did not dare to cultivate the nine-star hegemon body art according to its true essence. This kind of domineeringness was something that didn't allow others to approach him at all. Even from such a distance, she felt like his aura was so sharp that it would slice her as soon as she got closer. This was a merciless and domineering side, one that would annihilate anyone who resisted regardless of their motives. Long Chen calmly sensed the changes in his body. A faint smile appeared on his face, as an ocean's worth of medicinal pills had poured into his stomach. His cultivation base had reached the ninth vestige of soul transformation. He had many times more spiritual yuan than before. He had borrowed the blessing of the altar to resist a portion of the nine-star hegemon body arts hegemon will. If he hadn't run out of medicinal pills, he could have advanced another level. To the tenth vestige noveloon.com however, the tenth vestige would have been his limit for sure. He had to slow down and get used to this level because as his power grew. So did the will of the nine star hegemon body art. At the ninth event stage, he could still control it easily. It wouldn't be a problem. The divine ring appeared behind him again, and five colored light lit up the sky. It was even more majestic, stunning, and domineering than before. Ripples began to appear in the air once the divine ring appeared. All the surrounding energy was being forced to worship him. It poured toward him. So I was wrong as to the divine ring's usage before. I don't need the approval of the heavenly deos to get their energy. The divine ring will force the world to give me its energy. I am the ruler of heaven and earth, and the world must bow to me. If it refuses, then I will destroy and overturn this world. That's the meaning of being a hegemon. It doesn't matter if it's a god or a devil. Heaven or earth, they have to submit to me. Follow me and prosper. Defy me and die. Long Chen clenched his fist, feeling the power the divine ring gave him, experiencing that will of forcing everyone else to submit. He finally knew that his previous fighting styles had all been wrong. No wonder the heavens want to destroy me. It doesn't want to submit to me, so it naturally wants to kill me. Now he knew why his luck was so bad, why his tribulations were always full of destruction. Thousands and thousands of times more difficult than the tribulations of other cultivators. The heavens didn't want to be destroyed. So they didn't want him to live. 
His existence threatened the heavens, so the heavens wanted to eliminate him. Just the nine-star hegemon body art is enough to make the heavens terrified. Hence, just how terrifying are the true origins of the nine stars? Originally, he had been an ant struggling at the bottom level of the secular world. Due to the pill sovereign memories, due to the nine-star hegemon body art, he had walked to his current position. Perhaps I shouldn't complain. Without the nine-star hegemon body art, I'd have long since died a terrible death. My path is still long and covered in mist. Before reaching the end, how can I say whether it's a good thing or not? All I want is to live with a clear conscience. Since I am accompanied by a group of hot-blooded brothers and beauties, I can die without any regrets. So what do I, Long Chen, have to be afraid of? I will not give this life of mine to the heavens, nor will I give it to the nine stars. My life is mine. A determined light appeared in his eyes. The world wanted to kill him, while the nine-star hegemon body art wanted him to become a merciless hegemon. Neither of those was his choice. Since this was the case, he would control the nine-star hegemon body art. He would control heaven and earth, and he would control his own fate. Long Chen, suddenly, Yu Ziaokian let out a soft cry, her eyes full of worry. The current Long Chen made her feel afraid. He seemed strange. I'm fine. Because I increased my cultivation base too quickly, the will of the nine stars is coming out. I can't restrain it just yet, but it'll be fine in a while. This place is practically perfect for my cultivation. I've already told Hugh Olong to start refining more of the pills. Once I have enough, I can attempt to reach life star here, said Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian was still a bit pale. Long Chen's current aura was difficult to bear. Although the aura of his cultivation base had been retracted, something else was coming from the depths of his soul and he couldn't fully control it. Fortunately, he hadn't had enough pills to advance another level. Otherwise, his aura would be even sharper, to the point where Yu Ziaokian wouldn't be able to bear it. Long Chen did his best to suppress that aura, while Yu Ziaokian got used to it gradually. The air of the Nine Stars really is terrifying. Just this aura is enough to subdue enemies, said Yu Ziaokian. Great power was always the greatest charisma. This current state of mine isn't a good thing. If I can't control my own aura, it will be a constant strain on my soul. I'll need to spend a few days getting used to my new cultivation base before I can control it perfectly, said Long Chen. You can go into seclusion. Don't worry, I'll guard you, said Yu Ziaokian. Thank you, Long Chen nodded. He needed to get used to his new cultivation realm. This was definitely not a suitable state to fight in, as he was constantly leaking energy in this state. Three days later, the raging aura around him began to fade, and after a week, it finally vanished. Long Chen opened his eyes again, but the sharp light within them had been pulled back. It was like a divine sword that had been hidden in a sheath once again. Long Chen looked about the same as before, but now... Each of his movements seemed to contain a domineering air to them. This was something that not even Long Chen sensed. Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian held hands once more as they returned down the path. Yu Ziaokian was smiling sweetly, a smile that made Long Chen's heart melt. When they passed the statue of the ancestor, Long Chen cupped his hands again in thanks. He had made great gains here that he hadn't expected. They returned to the battlefield. The spatial cracks were still open and the original Devil Race's experts were still fighting intensely against the magical beasts. Long Chen suddenly clapped himself on the forehead. I really am dumb. I even forgot something so important. Ziaokian, here are many rank 9 heavenly Tao fruit. You can distribute them so you can be more confident in the martial heaven continent. Long Chen gave you Ziaokian a spatial ring packed with the heavenly Tao fruits he had gathered. Of course. He kept the Empyrean level ones for himself. The entire Dragonblood Legion had become rank 9 Celestials. So these extra ones were useless to him. Just now, he had been reminded by the side of the original Devil Race's experts fighting. They hadn't unleashed their manifestations. I don't know how useful these are to you, but they are useless to me in any case. Long Chen smiled. Back then. He had given heavenly Tao fruits to the original devil race so their disciples could roam the continent without the worry of exposing their identity. Before having the heavenly Tao fruits, 
those disciples would only be able to unleash a portion of their combat power without exposing their divine seal, and every bit of energy they used up would be lost until they returned to the skyscraping world since they weren't able to recover their energy in the martial heaven continent. Sometimes, despite being perfectly disguised, Disciples of the original devil race were forced to allow themselves to be killed just to prevent them from being exposed. With the heavenly Tao fruits, they didn't have to worry about that. They could use the status of celestials to roam the continent, and they could also fight using the heavenly Tao manifestations. Of course they're useful. Being celestials not only allows us to roam the continent, but it also gives us a second kind of energy making us even a bit stronger than we are in the skyscraping world. Furthermore, they can also upgrade our talent heavens. There are so many. Yu Ziyokian jumped when she saw the mountain of fruit in the spatial ring. This was the result of Long Chen's most recent expeditions. He had fought many large battles in a row and killed many experts. Due to how busy he had been, he had almost forgotten about them. Long Chen, thank you. Yu Ziyokian hugged Long Chen's neck happily. This gift was truly immense to the original devil race. There were over a hundred thousand high-level heavenly Tao fruits inside the spatial ring. That was enough to give birth to many geniuses in the original devil race. Don't worry about it. Since our children have to have your surname, why don't we research exactly how we can have a child? Long Chen rubbed Yu Ziyokian's soft back. He started to get an itching feeling in his pants. That kind of feeling was like a certain area had formed a primal urge. Ah, Yu Ziyokian suddenly let out a startled cry. They were so close together that she had felt that change. She immediately ran off. You, you really are evil. Yu Ziyokian vanished. Isn't it only a matter of time? This is called planning ahead. Hey, wait for me. I want to check whether Wild has eaten his fill. Long Chen shouted from behind without the slightest shame looking like he was about to chase after her. Chapter 1731 Fighting a 12th Rank Magical Beast Translator Born to be Long Chen quickly caught up to Yu Ziyokian. Her shy appearance was so enchanting, making Long Chen's heart grow itchier by the second. The two of them quickly moved toward the battlefield. Long Chen wanted to see how wild was. Had he finally managed to fill his stomach? When Long Chen arrived at the battlefield, he saw more magical beasts than before. There was even a half-step nether passage magical beast that had just been slain by a dozen of the original devil race's elders. What's going on? Long Chen was surprised. According to reason, such a powerful magical beast would have been immediately targeted by wild. Elders, may I ask what happened to my brother? Asked Long Chen. He didn't see any sign of wild. Wild hasn't come back through the spatial crack ever since entering. We are unable to go through, so we don't know how he's been doing, answered an elder. At first, we could still hear his shouting, but ten days ago, he stopped saying anything. We reported this to the leader, but she told us not to worry. Wild is definitely fine, added another elder. Hearing that Yu Zihan also knew of this matter put Long Chen at ease. Yu Zihan knew more about Wild than he did. If she said he was fine, he was definitely fine. However, the number of magical beasts on the battlefield was growing increasingly greater. This didn't quite make sense. If Wild was on the other side, he should be drawing the attention of the magical beasts, and the number appearing here should be dropping. The elders were only here to oversee the battle and would only attack when half-step nether passage magical beasts appeared, quickly killing them. It was the disciples of the original devil race who were busy. The soul transformation disciples constituted the main force, with Jade Core disciples assisting. Even some weaker disciples were present, and they weren't lazing around. They were tidying up the battlefield, transporting the magical beast corpses away and stripping them of their hide, bones, blood, cores, etc. After all, each part of a powerful magical beast was an expensive resource. By gathering so many, the original devil race could make quite a profit if they sold them in the martial heaven continent. The rarer and higher level the magical beast, the more value they had. The amount that they could get for these resources was definitely not one bit inferior to what they obtained from their businesses. Not only were they training their disciples, but they were also making money. 
Yu Zivan's decision had killed two birds with one stone. The original Devil Race's experts were very powerful. Their attacks contained a unique kind of mysterious energy that increased their power. They were several times stronger than experts on the same level in the continent. If these disciples managed to grow up, they would become a terrifying army. Clearly, Yu Zivan wanted to raise a powerful force, and the leader of this force was definitely Yu Ziaokian. She was the future hope of the original devil race, bearing a heavy mission. After so many days of training, the disciples, whose movements had been a bit sluggish and unrefined, had completely transformed. They were fighting smoothly and easily now. After looking over the battlefield, Long Chen said, I don't like that my foolish brother has disappeared. I'm going to go find him. Yu Ziaokian was startled. If you were to go against the flow of space like that, you would have to survive the spatial tearing force. Wild could make it because he has the body of a blood barbarian. You will definitely be injured if you try it. No problem. I want to try. Long Chen walked toward the giant spatial crack. Only through that crack could one manage to go against the flow and enter the world on the other side. When Long Chen was close, the spatial crack began to rumble intensely. Countless spatial blades began to gather and clash inside. That destructive power made everyone else's hearts shake. This was a law of heaven and earth. Long Chen snorted. His divine ring suddenly appeared like a blazing sun. Even heaven and earth were shaken by his divine ring. A powerful aura surged out of Long Chen, condensing into a giant pillar of light that soared into the sky and blew apart the clouds. When Long Chen's vast divine pressure erupted, all the experts of the original devil race, whether they were elders or disciples, looked in shock at him. As for the roaring, crazy magical beasts, they instantly became frightened rabbits. They knelt on the ground, not daring to move. Even as they were slain by the disciples, they didn't move. The divine power of the nine stars. How many epochs has it been? He has finally appeared again. This world is going to change at last. Yu Zivan stood at the top of the original devil race's main palace. Her eyes looked across an immense space to see Long Chen. She muttered to herself, a hint of anticipation in her eyes. This was the true pressure of the nine star hegemon body art. One that forced all other life forms to kneel. This was the hegemon Tao that superseded the heavenly Deos. As his divine ring revolved, he felt the laws of the world. They formed millions of tiny dots of light that bowed toward him. In that instant, he felt an unprecedented feeling of grandness. This was a feeling of being above heaven and earth. Even they had to listen to his orders. As he walked into the spatial crack, even the spatial blades inside seemed to be afraid of him. They actually retreated slowly as he advanced. Yu Ziaokian looked at that in awe. The current Long Chen was so domineering that even the spatial laws didn't dare to go against him. As he advanced, Long Chen heard an even louder rumbling as if something was roaring at him to intimidate him. However, he ignored it, continuing to walk forward slowly. The spatial blades were also rumbling, but they didn't attack him. This feels amazing. No good. I can't laugh. I have to look calm like I'm being Loki Long Chen had an urge to raise his head and laugh to unleash this feeling of being unrivaled, but he endured it, he had to suppress that desire, if he allowed that feeling to inflate, sooner or later he would become crazy, blinding himself with his own power, fuck, Guo Ran is really lucky, he gets to show off whenever he wants, Long Chen cursed inside, he even began to envy Guo Ran, Guo Ran never gave up any chance to show off, but Long Chen had to suppress that desire, it was too unfair. However, no matter how Guo Ran showed off, his confidence wouldn't overinflate. That was because there was the Dragon Blood Legion to suppress him if he did. Guo Ran also knew this, which was why he was free to show off without the slightest worry. Boom. Eventually, Long Chen had advanced so far that it seemed he had reached a limit. The spatial blades finally surged toward him. Long Chen smiled faintly. His divine ring unleashed waves of divine light that formed a protective barrier around him. The spatial blades bounced off his barrier without inflicting the slightest damage. I really do understand too little about the nine star hegemon body art. I'll need to continuously experiment. Long Chen was excited to see this result. This move was something he had suddenly thought of when he had advanced to the ninth heaven stage of soul transformation. 
the divine ring was capable of suppressing everything, then he should be able to use that effect. He had tested it, resulting in this barrier. Waves of light continuously came from the divine ring in addition to the barrier, blowing the spatial blades apart. Exploding lights filled the air, a dazzling and dangerous sight. An incense sticks worth of time after the first spatial blades attacked. Long Chen finally reached the end of the spatial crack. As soon as he arrived in this other world, before he could even see where he was, a heaven-shaking row rang out and the sky darkened. A giant claw from the sky came at Long Chen. Before it even reached him, its immense power had compressed the space around him until it was deformed. A nether passage magical beast. Long Chen immediately activated the celestial lightning body blink. Lightning runes appeared all around him, and he dashed away from the claw. However, although he had dodged the claw, it still crashed against the ground, shattering the ground for thousands of miles. Terrifying astral wind slaughtered all the magical beasts in the surroundings. Right after a moment of joy, I get this crap. Long Chen cursed. This magical beast was so huge that half its body was covered in the clouds so he couldn't see its appearance. But there was no way he could be mistaken about its aura. It was definitely a 12th rank magical beast. A magical beast that had reached the nether passage level. Long Chen's current aura might be able to scare away 11th rank magical beasts, but it was useless against a 12th rank magical beast. He had almost been turned into a meat patty just now. The magical beast let out a roar, and its huge head came down from the clouds. A golden ball of light shot out of its mouth. Only now did Long Chen get a chance to see its head. It was similar in shape to an earth dragon. However, he had no time to examine it any closer. A huge golden sphere was falling toward him like a shooting star. Fuck. How did I get so unlucky? Cursed Long Chen. How was it that as soon as he arrived, there was a terrifying 12th rank magical beast waiting for him? Lightning spread throughout the land and Long Chen's figure vanished. In the next instant, the huge golden sphere exploded where he had just been. This move instantly cleaned up the battlefield. A wave of earth spread in every direction. The surviving magical beasts fled for their lives, while the rest died. Long Chen came flying out of the ground, spitting out dirt. It wanted a fight? Fine. It would get one. Chapter 1732 Who Needs a Saber Translator? Born to be a 12th rank magical beast was on the same level as a nether passage expert. Although magical beasts were unable to control divine items, their innate divine abilities made it so their combat power wasn't much inferior to human race nether passage experts. Long Chen's fury was starting to soar at being attacked continuously. He didn't know if it was because of the nine star hegemon body art, which refused to allow him to lose or because he had been suppressed by nether passage experts for too long. Either way, he wanted to have a real fight against an existence on this level. Boom. The huge claw smashed down once more. Evil Moon transformed into a crescent fang that slashed into it. However, what shocked Long Chen was that his saber image was instantly blown apart upon contact with the claw. What is this thing? How can its defense be so tough? Long Chen was speechless. The difference was a bit too immense, wasn't it? You can't beat it. It's the sword spine armor dragon. Amongst the middle class dragon races, it stands at the top. Although its bloodline isn't pure, and it doesn't have any powerful divine abilities, its physical strength and defensive power are excellent in its class. Fellows like this were just snacks to me before, but now I don't think we can win. Its skin is too tough. Even before. I would have to skin it before eating it. We should just leave. It's not that fast. So as long as you want to leave, it won't be able to stop you, said Evil Moon. Even Evil Moon had no choice but to admit that they couldn't do anything to it. It might not pose a fatal threat, but its immense defensive power and physical strength meant that they also didn't pose a fatal threat to it either. The sword spine armor dragon continuously attacked Long Chen. But Long Chen had filled the surroundings with lightning runes and was blinking across them, dodging its attacks. In front of its giant body, Long Chen was like a tiny ant. However, the sword spine armor dragon's attacks were all very accurate, surprising Long Chen. How can it lock onto me? asked Long Chen. If you were just an ordinary soul transformation expert, it probably wouldn't even see you. 
Since its vision is only a bit better than a blind person's, it uses its nose to sense things. The reason it's attacking you isn't because of the nine-star hegemon body art, but because it smells the true dragon essence blood flowing in your veins. That true dragon essence blood might only be from a green dragon, but it is incomparably pure. Amongst the millions of dragon races, only the true dragon is able to shake off the restrictions of any laws and live forever. Other dragons would drool a true dragon essence blood. Even I want to devour your essence blood. Although devouring it has no use to me, it's practically an instinct, said Evil Moon. Fuck, I treat you as a brother, and you treat me as food? When you get bigger, are you going to eat me? Demanded Long Chen. HMPH, the great dark evil dragon race cares more about promises than any other race. When have I ever lied? Raged Evil Moon. Long Chen curled his lip. When I first saw you, didn't you try to con me? I just didn't fall for it. However, didn't all those people that fell for it die? Bullshit. I promised that if they helped me break my seal, I would fulfill one of their desires. That's the same as what I promised you. However, aren't I still under my seal? They didn't hold up their end of the bargain. So who cares if they died? Fuck off. I'm ignoring you. Handle it yourself. Long Chen was in the midst of blocking the sword spine armor dragon's attack when his weapon suddenly vanished. Fuck. Although Long Chen immediately dodged, he was still sent flying by powerful shock waves. He almost coughed up blood. Evil Moon, you almost conned me to death, raged Long Chen. Don't worry, you won't die. If you can't beat it, then run. However, the heir of the nine stars is such a badass, isn't he? Why would such a person run? Go ahead and kill it. Evil Moon had already returned to Long Chen's spiritual space and refused to leave. Evil Moon was truly a bit angry. However, its anger was also a bit of embarrassment. Back then, in order to escape its seal, it had truly used some shameless methods. That was definitely a bit disgraceful to the name of the dark evil dragon race. Long Chen was picking at that scab, making it angry. That was its lesson to Long Chen and a warning that he better not bring this up again to mock it. The sword spine armor dragon was very strong, but it had its own clear weaknesses. Evil Moon refused to believe that Long Chen wouldn't be able to recognize those weaknesses with his combat experience. As long as he didn't fight directly, he wouldn't be in danger. HMPH, who needs your help? I can kill it myself. Even without Evil Moon, Long Chen didn't give up. Long Chen saw the sword spine armor dragon's weaknesses clearly. However, he had his own bitter troubles. Having advanced to the ninth heaven stage of soul transformation, he clearly felt a change in his mental state. His arrogant side had grown stronger. Just after having his power increase, along with his confidence and arrogance, he encountered such a powerful existence. If he fled, Long Chen had a premonition that it would be a serious blow to his confidence. The nine-star hegemon body art had very unique points. If, just as his confidence was surging, he encountered such a huge setback, it would be a heavy blow. So Long Chen wanted to defeat it somehow. However, he was speechless toward Evil Moon's pettiness. It had just been a joke, but Evil Moon had turned away from him. Without Evil Moon, Long Chen didn't even have a chance to attack. He was constantly dodging in the air. The sword spine armor dragon's huge body only occasionally revealed itself to Long Chen at the last moment through the dust and smoke from its attacks. It was similar to the earth dragon in that it had two giant wings. Long Chen had narrowly avoided being struck by its wings several times. The greatest difference between them though was that the sword spine armor dragon had 20 sharp bone spurs growing out of its back. Each of them was thousands of meters long. Those 20 bone spurs were where its energy was condensed. Similar to a human stanchion, they were incredibly tough, and even divine items couldn't easily damage them. After repeatedly attacking, the sword spine armor dragon was getting angrier and angrier at not being able to hit Long Chen. Long Chen was like a mosquito that was flying around its body, but it couldn't manage to hit him. All the other magical beasts continued fleeing further and further away. They didn't even dare to get closer to the spatial crack now. In the skyscraping world, due to the lack of reinforcements, the magical beasts on the battlefield were all slain quickly. 
the original devil race's experts were staring in shock at the spatial crack. As long as nothing was passing through it or disturbing it, it was possible to see through the spatial crack. They could clearly see what was happening on the other side. Seeing Long Chen fighting a 12th rank magical beast stunned them all. He was only at the soul transformation realm but was actually able to fight a nether passage level magical beast. They had thought that their fight against 11th rank magical beasts had been an amazing battle. Something worthy of pride. Yet those disciples would be in great danger if they faced a half-step 12th rank magical beast, and they needed the elders to handle those. However, Long Chen was also in the soul transformation realm, but he was fighting a true 12th rank magical beast fearlessly, truly worthy of a 9-star heir. He doesn't even use his saber. He's fighting it completely bare-handed praised an elder. They had only gotten a clear view of what was happening just as Evil Moon had vanished causing Long Chen to fight barehanded. They practically prostrated themselves toward Long Chen in admiration. Of course, if Long Chen knew what they were thinking, he would cry. No matter how arrogant I was, I wouldn't be arrogant to such an idiotic level. If Evil Moon doesn't want to help, what am I supposed to do? With only his bare hands, Long Chen could only rely on the celestial lightning body blink to dodge through the sky. He was familiarizing himself with its attack patterns. If they fought directly, his chances of winning would be no greater than 10%. He wasn't such a fool. This was an existence that could match Nether Passage experts. Fortunately, its huge body made it a bit clumsy, and its attack speed wasn't that great. Otherwise, Long Chen would have been forced to run for his life. With all its attacks missing, the sword spine armor dragon's eyes turned scarlet and it entered a berserk state. It opened its mouth, condensing a golden sphere once more. This is the moment. Long Chen's eyes suddenly lit up. Instead of retreating, he advanced right over to its mouth. Yu Ziaokian jumped in shock. This action was practically sending himself to his death. The sword spine armor dragon had released this golden sphere attack several times now, and its power was practically apocalyptic. Even Nether Passage experts struck by it would definitely die. Blaze Dragon Spear. A black spear appeared in his hand. One composed of black flames. It was filled with a berserk and explosive power. Like it was a compressed volcano. The black spear shot out of Long Chen's hand. Striking the golden sphere. As soon as he released the spear. Long Chen's figure vanished. Reappearing behind the sword spine armor dragon. Boom. The spear was like a detonator while the golden sphere was like a bomb. It was like a star had exploded. The golden sphere had yet to leave the sword spine armor dragon's mouth before it exploded. Chapter 1733 This is called Intelligence Translator. Born to be the huge sphere exploded in the sword spine armor dragon's mouth. Its mouth became a bloody pulp, but it didn't die. It was only a somewhat serious injury that wasn't fatal. The sword spine armor dragon flipped back smashing a large hole in the ground. It seemed the explosion had affected its mind, and it couldn't even tell different directions apart. Its claws, wings, and tail randomly attacked everywhere. What a tough body. No wonder Evil Moon said I couldn't beat it. Even its own attack was unable to kill it. If it was an ordinary magical beast, causing their own full strength attack to explode inside them would definitely be enough to kill them. However, the sword spine armor dragon's defensive power far exceeded its offensive power. It was too tough. Furthermore, with the magical beast's natural recovery abilities, it wouldn't be long before this injury healed. The sword spine armor dragon's wild attacks were an instinct. It wanted to make sure Long Chen couldn't get close during this moment to launch a fatal attack. It was buying itself time. Suddenly, a cyan brick appeared in Long Chen's right hand. He spun through the air three times, concentrating all his power. Little heaven, show Evil Moon your power. Don't let it look down on you. Long Chen suddenly threw the cyan brick at the sword spine armor dragon. Evil Moon refused to work with him, so Long Chen took out the heaven flipping seal. The heaven flipping seal had gained an initial level of control over its power thanks to Evil Moon's guidance. The heaven flipping seal explosively grew once Long Chen threw it. It was like a giant mountain as it smashed into the sword spine armor dragon. Boom. The entire world shuddered. Then everything became calm. 
there was a huge cyan brick deeply imprinted in the ground. The sword spine armor dragon was beneath it, with only half its tail sticking out. Its tail was constantly twitching. Long Chen jumped in shock. He hadn't expected the heaven flipping seal to be so powerful. It had actually crushed the sword spine armor dragon in one attack. Fool. How many times have I told you not to use your full power unless it's a life and death moment? All that energy you saved up during this time has been wasted. Evil Moon's furious row rang out. The heaven flipping seal transformed back into an ordinary cyan brick and returned into Long Chen's mind. See, it was like a child that had made a mistake, just floating there in front of Evil Moon, not daring to move. Long Chen sensed that the heaven flipping seal's aura had plummeted after this one attack. It had used up over 90% of its power. I was the one who made Little Heaven do this. You refused to help. So why can't Little Heaven help me? Long Chen immediately moved to protect Little Heaven. In truth, its power had made him jump as well. That kind of power could only be described as terrifying. The Heaven Flipping Seal immediately stopped acting so afraid with Long Chen's support. It hid behind Long Chen. You fool. The Sword Spine Armor Dragon is just a troublemaker. Congratulations on killing it. Tell me, how much do you think you actually got out of it? How much money? You are no longer a rookie, and I am still sealed. Little Heaven is a life-protecting talisman, but you wasted all its energy on something useless like the Sword Spine Armor Dragon. How are you going to protect yourself against the truly dangerous enemies in the future? Demanded Evil Moon angrily. Evil Moon had been constantly teaching and training Little Heaven to control its energy. It firmly warned Little Heaven that it couldn't easily attack. In fact, even Long Chen hadn't realized how powerful the Heaven Flipping Seal was, which was intentionally done by Evil Moon. It didn't want Long Chen to form a dependence on the Heaven Flipping Seal. The Heaven Flipping Seal was only there to save his life at a critical moment. If he used it nonchalantly, it wouldn't have any energy to help him when he needed it. For example, the spiritual seal that the terrifying expert had left on Long Chen's mind see was something that Evil Moon would require a long time to fully erase with just its own power. That amount of time was more than enough for the master of the seal to lock onto Long Chen's position, and Little Heaven had been the trump card that had managed to break the seal instantly. Now, this powerful trump card had used up all its energy on a useless sword spine armor dragon. Naturally, Evil Moon was infuriated. Hearing all this, Long Chen finally understood Evil Moon's thinking and also gained a greater understanding of Little Heaven. It was an item spirit he had given birth to from the Aldevil monster's soul essence. It was like a child, and when it got excited, it wouldn't have too many thoughts in its head. It's fine. Experience is what leads to wisdom. If Little Heaven hadn't used its full power, it wouldn't even know how strong it is, let alone know how to control its own power. It's not a bad thing. I will ask Xia Chen if he could create a formation to let Little Heaven recover its energy faster. We're not lacking money. As long as we have money, what can't we do? Laughed Long Chen. Evil Moon's anger faded. Recovering divine energy required a very long time. However, a formation master could make a formation that could make this process quicker. Furthermore, it was true that Little Heaven needed to experience its full power in order to learn how to control it. Just theory with no practical practice was no good. The Sword Spine Armor Dragon was not dead yet. If Little Heaven had used its power properly, it would have killed it. However, it had unleashed its power a bit too early, before it had been concentrated perfectly resulting in it wasting 30% of its power. Now, the sword spine armor dragon was constantly twitching. It was unknown how many of its bones were broken. Its defensive power was truly astonishing. Even with its whole body deformed, it wasn't in danger of dying. It had just fallen unconscious. If it was an ordinary person, the divine power contained in the heaven flipping seals attack would invade their body. Many people died from the invasion of that divine power even if they survived the actual attack. On the other hand, the sword spine armor dragon might be heavily injured and unconscious, but its natural recovery had kicked in. If left like this, it would fully recover. Is this sword spine armor dragon really useless? Don't try to trick me. I've read plenty of books. Long Chen's gaze landed on the sword spine armor dragon's head. 
Such a powerful magical beast was actually called trash by Evil Moon. Of course it's useless. A magical beast spirit blood contains a chaotic aura, and their intelligence is so low. They can't even compare to Shwen beasts, let alone real divine beasts like the true dragon. Its bloodline is too muddled. The dragon breath attack is innate to the dragon race. Low class dragon races are only capable of the simple dragon breath. Middle class dragon races can breathe stars. The so called star breath is comparable to the level of a real star at its stronger point. When I was at my peak, my star breath was enough to destroy an entire minor world. As for its breath, TCH, it's as weak as my spit, said Evil Moon disdainfully. One attack to destroy an entire minor world? Long Chen was shocked inside. He knew Evil Moon's character, and it would disdain to lie. However, someone as terrifying as Evil Moon was unable to receive a single attack from Sovereign Yun Shang. Just what level of existence was a sovereign? Other magical beasts have their divine abilities concentrated in divine runes on their skulls, which can create a crystal bone. A 12th rank magical beast's crystal bone is essentially a quasi-divine item. However, this sword spine armor dragon's bloodline is too impure, and its divine ability is not only linked to its crystal core and the runes on its skull, but it also requires the 20 bone spurs on its back to activate. A quasi-divine item requiring all of those big things is useless. What exactly are you going to use it for? Tell me, don't you think you're a fool for wasting so much effort? Evil Moon's rage began to boil once again. You can't put it that way. It might be trash to you, but it has great use to me. Long Chen laughed sinisterly. Actually, he knew he was in the wrong, but he thickened his face to say that it was useful. Otherwise... Evil Moon's anger would just continue to grow. What are you going to use it for? Stu, snorted Evil Moon. It clearly wasn't so easy to trick. He, if Wild was present, I would naturally give it to him. However, I don't think this sword spine armor dragon is as useless as you say. I can always bring it back and study it. Speaking of which, can I put a slave mark on it and turn it into my houseboat? Long Chen had a sudden thought. If he had a nether passage houseboat, the first thing he thought of was giving it to Meng Chi. Cloud speed and attacks were unparalleled. Her only weakness was defense. If this sword spine armor dragon was given to Meng Chi, then with Cloud in charge of attacking and the sword spine armor dragon in charge of defense, Meng Chi would become the most terrifying asset in the Dragon Blood Legion. Nice try. You are treating a 12th rank magical beast too simply. That is an existence on the same level as a nether passage expert. First of all, let's ignore whether or not you have enough spiritual strength to place a slave mark on such a powerful existence. Even if you did, it would easily manage to struggle free. I know you have some special methods to put a special slave mark on it and make it so that it can't escape. But I'm telling you, you won't be able to control it. The sword spine armor dragon is the result of inbreeding. It's the product of the Sword Spine Nether Dragon and the Sword Spine Earth Dragon. Its head is chaotic, and it has almost no mind. It does not differentiate between friend or foe in battle. With such a houseboat, he, you'll sooner or later play yourself to death, sneered Evil Moon. He, the Earth doesn't give birth to nameless grass, and the heavens don't give birth to useless people. Everything in this world has its own usefulness. The only question is whether you use it properly. Long Chen suddenly smiled sinisterly. Why is your smile so evil? Have you thought of some sinister moves? Asked Evil Moon. What do you mean? Sinister moves? This is called intelligence. Yes. Correct. This is intelligence. Long Chen sat on the sword spine armor dragon's head. He formed a hand seal, and his spiritual strength surged. A giant spiritual mark slowly condensed. Chapter 1734 Lost Wild Translator born to be that is a soul bewitching rune. What are you planning? Evil Moon was startled. The spiritual rune that Long Chen had condensed was not a slave mark. It was more similar to hypnosis and would keep the spine sword armor dragon asleep. Long Chen wouldn't be able to control it like this. With this kind of spiritual seal, the sleeping sword spine armor dragon might technically count as his houseboat. But as soon as it woke up, the seal would be dispelled. Maintaining the seal would be a constant drain on his spiritual strength. If he didn't keep it up, it would wake up, 
Evil Moon couldn't understand why Long Chen would choose such an option. I already said that all things in this world have their own use. Even dung can be used to nourish trees. However, if it lands on a person's face, sometimes, it's even more powerful than a martial weapon, laughed Long Chen. What is that supposed to mean? demanded Evil Moon. That evil tone of Long Chen's told it that Long Chen was up to no good again. Evil Moon truly wanted to know. Suddenly, it had a thought. What the fuck? I understand now. You evil scoundrel. He, we don't produce magical beasts. We're just in charge of transporting them throughout the world? Why would you call that evil? HMPH. Fine. I admire you. But, he, I really want to see who the unlucky bastard will be. Laughed Evil Moon. Long Chen smiled and didn't respond. He continued to pour in his spiritual strength. The huge spiritual rune was constantly fluctuating until it shuddered one final time. The seal was complete. Long Chen wasn't skilled in spiritual arts. So although he had an ocean's worth of spiritual strength, it took him a long time to condense the seal. If it had been Meng Chi, she would have completed it in the blink of an eye. The seal slowly merged into the sword spine armor dragon's head, and its whole body shook intensely. Its wings slammed on the ground repeatedly. However, after a moment of struggling, it stopped moving. The spiritual seal took effect. The sword spine armor dragon's huge body vanished as it was sucked into Long Chen's spiritual space. It was chained by many spiritual seals and kept in a deep slumber. Nice work. Long Chen clapped his hands a couple of times and smiled. This was a killer trump card. If he used it well, it could bring him endless benefits. The original devil races experts that were watching cheered loudly upon seeing Long Chen subdue that sword spine armor dragon so easily. The distant magical beasts hiding in the distance were too scared to approach. Although their intelligence was low, they had seen Long Chen suppress the sword spine armor dragon. Even the several half-step nether passage magical beasts didn't dare to approach. They hid in the distance, letting out low growls. The reason magical beasts could not be classified as top-class life forms was because of their low intelligence. Their bloodlines were too impure, so there was no way for them to compare to Xuan beasts. Although they were both beasts, the Xuan beasts kept their bloodlines very pure, and their intelligence was on the same level as humans. As for magical beasts, no matter how high their intelligence, they were still dumb beasts. Furthermore, magical beasts were easily bewitched by the Xuan beasts. In the Devil Abyss, a sudden army of magical beasts had appeared and attacked the Dragon Blood Legion. Long Chen was sure it was done by the Xuan beasts. Only they had the ability to control such a huge army of beasts. After putting away the Sword Spine Armor Dragon, Long Chen didn't bother with the Half Step Nether Passage magical beasts. Flying high into the sky, he quickly saw a long path stretching into the distance. It was a bloody path, filled with destruction and blood. Long Chen immediately began to follow it. This bloody path was the remnants of Wild's fighting. As long as Long Chen followed it, he should be able to quickly find Wild. With his divine ring active, all the surrounding magical beasts were forced away by his divine might. They obediently kneeled in the distance. Long Chen followed the path for a large part of the day. Standing at the peak of a tall mountain, he looked over the remnants of a ruthless battlefield. There was a skeleton here that was emitting the pressure of a nether passage magical beast. It looked to be a tiger or leopard-shaped magical beast. However, only its skeleton remained, so he couldn't tell its exact appearance. He landed on the skull and saw a crystal core. The crystal core still had powerful runes revolving within it and he could hear some kind of angry roar coming from it as if it was echoing its anger and unwillingness right before its death. Beside the large skeleton was a dozen other small skeletons. He looked over their crystal cores and found that they were all of the half-step nether passage level. Wild would only eat the skeletons when he was starving to death. Normally, he only ate the meat. As a result, this child didn't recognize the crystal cores as treasures and had tossed them aside. Long Chen gathered the crystal cores and flew back into the air. He looked at the bloody path. Oh no. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Wild had definitely gotten lost. He saw that the path now crossed in many places as Wild traveled around randomly. Wild had gotten lost here and had run around, searching for his way back. 
As a result of his frantic running, he ended up covering up the path he had come from. With Wilde's intelligence, it would be very difficult for him to find his way back. The thing that made Long Chen speechless was that many bloody paths were stretching so far into the distance that he couldn't see their ends. He could imagine how frantic this child was after realizing he was lost. He had to be rushing around randomly, resulting in his path growing more and more chaotic. Now, there were so many paths that Long Chen had no idea which direction Wild went. Well if he's lost, he's lost. He can eat as much as he wants. Maybe one day he'll eat his way back to us. Novaloon.com CM Long Chen was speechless. If he wanted to find Wild, it would take a long time. He didn't have that much time. In any case, Wild's power was not inferior to his own. That mouth of his was even capable of biting Nether Passage magical beasts to death. There was no need for Long Chen to worry about him. Long Chen returned along his original path. When he came out of the spatial crack, Yu Ziaokian asked, Where is Wild? Lost. Sighed Long Chen. What? Don't joke. It's the truth. Long Chen bitterly smiled and told Yu Ziaokian about what had happened inside. Upon learning that Wild had somehow gotten lost inside, Yu Ziaokian also became speechless. The giant spatial crack should have been a giant beacon to Wild, but even with such a giant reference point, Wild still managed to get himself lost. Even magical beasts could have found their way back, but not wild. The skyscraping world's aura was constantly passing through to the other world through the spatial crack. The magical beasts on the other side take that as a threat and a provocation, so they charge over. Hopefully, wild will be able to follow those magical beasts back, said Yu Ziaokian. I doubt that's possible considering who he is. Wild's blood mark is still in Guo Ran's hands. Ah. I have handed that to him back in the immemorial path so it would be easier to find Wild. But I didn't bring it with me this time. Just let Wild eat as much as he wants for now. If he doesn't come out during this time, I'll have Guo Ran make me something that can track him down. Said Long Chen helplessly. After a moment's hesitation, he apologetically added. Ziaokian, the Dao sect still needs me for many things. I have to go back. I know. I understand. Go back and say hello to my sisters. Tell them that Ziaokian misses them. Ziaokian couldn't help crying. They had just reunited and were about to be separated again. On the Martial Heaven continent, endless dangers meant that they couldn't be sure how long this parting would be. Perhaps it would be eternal. Just as Long Chen was at a loss as to how to comfort her, an ancient voice rang out. Ziaokian, don't grieve. The two of you will forever be together. No one will be able to separate you. Greetings great prophet. Greetings race leader. The original devil race's experts all knelt. From the distance, Yu Zivan slowly walked over while supporting an old woman. The old woman looked like she already had one foot in the grave. Her face was covered in wrinkles. She looked like the slightest breeze would knock her over. She had no aura at all. Like she was someone who hadn't cultivated. However, Long Chen was shocked to see how bright her eyes were. They were clearly intelligent. It was like her eyes could see through all the mysteries of heaven and earth, as if they could see through the past and future. Her eyes were like a mirror that reflected the world. Greetings great prophet. Seeing that this woman was being personally escorted by Yu Zihan, Long Chen could tell that this woman's position was probably even greater than Yu Zihan's in the original devil race. Grandma Yu Ziaokian hastily went over to support the old woman. Unexpectedly, this prophet was actually Yu Ziaokian's grandmother, Yu Zivan's mother. The old woman's withered hand gently caressed Yu Ziaokian's cheek, wiping away her tears. I thought that you had forgotten your grandma after seeing your boyfriend Grandma Yu Ziaokian pressed her hand against the old woman's arm. She blushed. Your grandma was also young back in the day. What is there to be embarrassed about? Look, Long Chen's completely at ease. The old woman smiled kindly. You overpraise me. This little one's skin was built up over thousands of trials. It's thick enough to not be embarrassed. Long Chen hastily went up. This was his future grandmother-in-law. To obtain her granddaughter, he had to obtain her approval. Not feeling embarrassed is a good thing. People who don't get embarrassed aren't so fake. They say what they want to say. Do what they want to do. Good child. 
Come here and let grandma touch your face. I want to see the face of my granddaughter's future husband. The old woman reached out her two withered hands and gently touched Long Chen's face. When her hands touched Long Chen's face, they transformed, becoming plump like a young maiden's hands. At the same time, glowing lines appeared on her palms. Long Chen's heart shook. This is chapter 1735 I'll have to look down on you translator. Born to be the original devil race's prophet gently touched Long Chen's face with her hands. Long Chen immediately felt his soul shake, and the divine gate star activated on its own, instinctively resisting. Long Chen hastily stopped the divine gate star. However, huge waves rose in his heart. It was just that he didn't say anything. Good child, you're very handsome. Your future children with Xiaokian, whether they're boys or girls, will definitely be very cute. The original devil race's prophet pulled back her hands. When they left Long Chen's face, they returned to their normal, withered state. The only difference was that the prophet was smiling brightly now. Child, don't let a romantic relationship stop you from doing what you need to do. Sometimes, a good result needs a bitter process. However, as long as you can get that result, all that bitterness will be worth it. The bitterness will become your most perfect memories. However, if your hesitation over the process affects the result, if it causes you to fail, it will only bring you endless regret. All your efforts are for that goal. If you don't achieve it, then everything fades away. When you reach the end, you will only find emptiness. I understand. Long Chen bowed to the prophet and Yu Zihan. He then hugged Yu Xiaokian before being led away by one of the elders. When Long Chen's figure vanished, Yu Xiaokian, Yu Zihan, and the prophet left as well. The roar of magical beasts began to ring out once more as they continued charging into the skyscraping world. Mom, what did you see? Yu Zihan looked at the prophet. She and Yu Xiaokian were supporting her. They had arrived at a pavilion at the top of a mountain. The prophet looked like she had aged a great deal. Her breathing was a bit unsteady. As soon as she sat down, she began to cough intensely. Yu Xiaokian and Yu Zihan hastily poured a cup of water for her. Her coughing eased a bit after drinking some water. Grandma, why did you have to look at him? Doing so is suicide. Yu Xiaokian was crying as she looked at her grandmother. Child, which person doesn't die? Death is another form of life. You need to learn this point from your mother. After giving up my position as the leader of the race, I sacrificed my cultivation base, transforming it into prophetic power so I could see further, see clearer. Although it was a sacrifice, it was worth it. Last time, I managed to see that Long Chen would be in trouble and I sent you just as a test. However, you really did manage to help him at a critical moment. At that time, I knew that no matter how strong I was, I would never be able to read the fate of a nine-star heir. The fact that my prediction actually ended up true means that Long Chen's fate is deeply intertwined with the fate of the original devil race. So how could I give up this chance? The prophet smiled. But then she immediately began to cough fiercely again. Yu Xiaokian hastily pushed the water closer and gently patted her back. After a moment, the prophet continued. I'm very gratified. Let me tell you a piece of good news. Our original devil race has not been wiped out. I saw many more branches living in different star fields. Really? That's great. Yu Xiaokian and Yu Zihan were both delighted. They had always thought that after the Motherster had collapsed, the others had all died, leaving behind only their one branch of the original devil race. This news was the best news they could have gotten. Did you see which star fields they're in? Can we communicate with them? Can we restore the original devil race's glory? Asked Yu Zihan, her voice trembling with emotion. The prophet shook her head. The cultivation technique of an heir of the nine stars is too domineering. Although I only tried to see information relating to our race, I still received a backlash. If Long Chen hadn't suppressed it, I wouldn't have been able to see anything at all. Xiaokian, hurry and tell the others this news. Let everyone be happy as well. Yes. Yu Xiaokian immediately rushed away. Mom, you. Yu Zivan suddenly looked at her mother in shock. She wasn't as naive as Yu Xiaokian. The prophet's smile vanished, replaced by complete seriousness. She slowly said, I wasn't able to hold back. In the end, 
I still glanced at Long Chen's future. Mom, Yu Ziven let out a startled cry. She looked at her mother closely and couldn't help but cry. The divine seal on her mother's forehead had completely faded. That meant her life force had run out. I just praised you for understanding the Tao of life and death. I said that Xiaokian should follow your example. And you act like this, sighed the prophet. She continued, Long Chen is different from the nine star heirs from the legends. He lacks a kind of true domineeringness. It's a very strange scenario. No one in this world can train in this cultivation technique and still control themselves. But he has done it. In all the historical records, nine star heirs are solitary figures who fight against heaven and earth. They never form companionships. However, Long Chen is completely different. That's why I couldn't hold back from taking a peek at his future. Unfortunately, I saw something that I shouldn't have. What did you see? Death. Darkness. Endless death and endless darkness. All life was extinguished. Within that endless darkness and death, I couldn't see the slightest glimmer of hope. Are you saying that Long Chen's fate is to die? I don't know. My ability is limited. I could only see this much. The prophet suddenly touched Yu Zivan's cheek. A faint glow appeared on her face. Don't wear yourself out. You only have to do your best. We are just a speck of dust within this cosmos. And we follow the waves. If a star's destiny reaches an end, we can only be destroyed along with it. You wouldn't be able to do anything about it regardless. So don't feel so bad. Just as I said, death is not an end, but another kind of life. Mom. The prophet closed her eyes and silently collapsed into Yu Zivan's embrace, still having a faint smile on her face. The old leader of the original devil race passed away just like that. Long Chen was quickly let out of the skyscraping world by an elder from the original devil race. He had no idea that the original devil race's prophet had peeked into his future and thus left the mortal world. Once he left the original devil race, Long Chen went toward the eastern Xuan city. There. He saw that things were exceptionally lively. Walking along the large path, he saw experts from different regions. The restaurants were packed. Was there some kind of festival? Why were there so many people? Long Chen curiously perked his ears up. HMPH. That Long Chen really is trash. Either someone helped him or he used some shameless method to get his dragon blood legion to occupy two spots in the top ten of the devil slaughter rankings. In my opinion. That is no different than cheating Long Chen was just randomly listening to the conversation when he heard a voice come from within a restaurant. This voice wasn't very loud, but it wasn't quiet either. Anyone in the surroundings of the restaurant could hear it. It was clearly intentional. Someone's causing trouble for me again. Long Chen suddenly stopped. However, that theory was wrong. He was wearing a cloak and had concealed his spiritual fluctuations. His appearance had also been changed. No one should realize who he was. Just as he was questioning his disguise, another voice came from the restaurant. You're right. Long Chen really is shameless. Ignoring how he cheated his way into the top 10, he even colluded with those demons from the original devil race. Although no one has absolute proof, Long Chen's wild ambitions are abundantly clear. Even though everyone is speaking out against him, he's hiding in his sect like a turtle. If he doesn't have a guilty conscience, why would he do that? This voice was just as loud as the first. It was clearly being said so that others would hear it. Long Chen, if you keep enduring like this, I'll have to look down on you. Evil Moon's voice rang out in Long Chen's head. Clearly, it disapproved of Long Chen's indifference. Long Chen didn't reply. He had walked past the restaurant, but now he returned. He also wiped off the disguise on his face revealing his true appearance. However, he was still wearing a hood that covered most of his face. There were countless people on the street, so no one paid any attention to him. Xiang Yunfei has already come to challenge Long Chen, even building a martial stage right outside the eastern Xuan city, and Long Chen doesn't even dare to come out. It's been a month, and there hasn't even been a peek from the Zhuanshan Dao sect HMPH. When he encounters a real expert, Long Chen runs like a dog. Don't compare Long Chen to a dog. At least, a dog will bark a few times when they encounter an enemy. But Long Chen doesn't even dare to make a sound. There's no comparing the two. Long Chen slowly walked up the stairs. 
After hearing the two of them echo off each other, a cold smile appeared on his face. The two of them were clearly doing it intentionally to provoke him into coming. The Dragonblood Legion was in seclusion in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and Li Xiangsu indefinitely wouldn't allow them to learn of this news. That was why there was no response from the Zhuanshan Dao sect when it came to the outside world's suspicions. Long Chen and Li Xiangsuan's attitudes were almost the same. They would walk their own path, and any dogs yapping in the background could yap away. However, this time, Long Chen felt irritated, and the flames of fury slowly began to grow in his heart. He didn't know if he had been suppressed for too long or if it was the influence of the Nine Star Hegemon body art. However, he was unable to remain indifferent. In my opinion, Long Chen is just to rank nine celestials at the peak of soul transformation were sitting at a window table, chatting happily when they saw a certain person walk up. Their expressions immediately changed. Chapter 1736 Ancestral Blood Arrow Translator Born to be there were only a few dozen tables at the highest floor of the restaurant. They all had windows beside them so the customers could experience the beautiful side of Eastern Xuan City. The number of seats on the highest floor was low, but since it was extremely expensive, the seats weren't completely full. Amongst the customers were two large men with swords on their backs. They were chatting arrogantly, and the others ignored them. However, when a black-robed man walked up the stairs, everyone's expressions changed. Time seemed to stand still in that moment. The only thing they could hear was their own heartbeat. Long. Chen. Everyone gulped. They actually didn't say this name out loud as they were struck dumb. However, this terrifying name echoed in the deepest depths of their hearts. In your opinion, I, Long Chen, am what? I really want to know. Long Chen's gaze swept through the people here. The majority of these people came from other regions, and he could tell this from their robes. The situation was clear. Since he hadn't come out to fight in a long time, the other side was helpless to do anything other than slander him, using the most shameless yet also the most effective method to force him to appear. Now, he had appeared. Seeing their astonished expressions, Long Chen could tell the situation. The two people talking saw Long Chen smiling faintly as he walked slowly toward them. One of them suddenly hurled their table at Long Chen. The two of them instantly fled for the streets. The first one was quite crafty and knew that experts like Long Chen cared about status. They wouldn't let themselves get soaked in the wine and food on the table. You didn't even answer me before leaving. Don't you think that's a bit rude? Get back here. The first rank 9 celestial only saw his vision darken for a moment before a large hand slapped across his face, blowing him back into the restaurant. Long Chen was standing in the air, his hand raised. A lightning arrow shot out, killing the other rank 9 celestial who had fled in the other direction. He instantly exploded into dust. Heavens, Long Chen really appeared. The entire eastern Xuan city was shaken. Countless experts began flying over from every direction. Ha ha ha, I've long since said that Long Chen is the strongest expert of our eastern Xuan region. There's no one he's afraid of. Nice, it'll count as payment for cutting off my arm. In the distance, a one-armed man laughed delightedly. Long Chen ignored what was happening outside. He slowly walked up to the rank 9 celestial whose head was half destroyed. This was a serious injury. His soul was shaken and his Yuan spirit had been heavily injured. He was on the verge of death. My cultivation base grew too quickly. I can't even control my own power. Long Chen had been planning on learning a few things from this person's mouth, but that wasn't going to work now. He decided to directly point a finger at that person's head, killing him instantly. So that's the case. Long Chen finished his soul sark and learned what was going on. Coincidentally, Someone had arrived as soon as Long Chen had left the eastern Xuan city to go to the skyscraping world. That person was 8th on the Devil Slaughter rankings, Xiang Yunfei. He was an expert from the ancient races. Xiang Yunfei did not directly go to the Zhuanshan Dao sect for his challenge. Instead, he made a large announcement in eastern Xuan city and then built a martial stage, saying that Long Chen's reputation was undeserved and he wanted a real fight against Long Chen to expose his inferiority. At that time, Long Chen had arrived in the skyscraping world and had no knowledge of the challenge, so he naturally hadn't come over. However, 
In the martial heaven continent, the news of Xiang Yanfei's challenge had long since spread throughout all the various regions. Experts from all over had come over in anticipation for this battle. Unfortunately, Long Chen refused to reveal himself, and those experts gradually lost patience. Some became jittery and began saying that Long Chen had to have cheated his way to his current position, which was why he didn't dare to have a real fight. In eastern Xuan City, quite a few people supported Long Chen. After all, Long Chen was their top expert in the junior generation in the eastern Xuan region. So there were quite a few arguments and lots of cursing between the two sides, eventually resulting in conflict and deaths. As the conflict grew, this matter ended up even disturbing Ku Jinying. She had directly made an order that experts within Eastern Xuan City were not allowed to fight with martial power, or they would be given the death sentence. The experts from the other regions were cowed and stopped fighting. Ku Jinying's power and status were not unearned. If they offended her, they really would lose their lives. Ku Jinying's orders were clearly to protect the Eastern Xuan region's disciples. That was because the Eastern Xuan region's top geniuses were all gathered in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The remaining so-called geniuses were only second rate, and they would sooner or later be eradicated by the experts from the other regions if she didn't protect them. As a result, these foreign experts only dared to mock and ridicule others inside the Eastern Xuan city and not actually attack. As for the experts native to the Eastern Xuan region, they also recognized the difference between them and endured, doing their best to ignore the other party. Now that Long Chen had appeared, the native experts jeered, Your master Long has returned. Those who want to die should hurry up. If you miss this chance, you won't get another. I might not be skilled in curing other illnesses, but I specialize in handling arrogant people who can't accept the truth. I guarantee my medicine will be effective. It will be effective, quick, and painless. You'll be able to report that you're cured the very next day. Long Chen's shout spread through the streets. His gaze was as sharp as a blade, and a berserk will sort out of him without restraint. Long Chen really came. He's even more terrifying than the rumors. I actually can't help feeling a sense of worship. I want to follow such an expert. Long Chen's domineering air affected every single person's heart. My body's quivering out of my control. Even my soul is. I feel like a clear spring is falling and cleansing my heart. I can't even stop it. Fuck your clear spring. Get away from me before you piss yourself. One man angrily kicked away a man beside him who was constantly quivering. More and more experts gathered. Some people were excited, while some watched coldly from the side. Long Chen's name had resounded throughout the martial heaven continent due to the devil slaughter rankings. Many people here were curious as to what kind of person he was. They wanted to see if Long Chen was really strong enough to get first place. You've finally come. If this is your speed, then I, Xiang Yunfei, will definitely kill you today. A heavy shout came from outside the city. It thundered through people's ears. Xiang Yunfei is also still here. He's waiting outside the city. Haha, <laughs> now there'll be a good show to watch. Long Chen will definitely die. Pfft. A winged ancient race expert was in the midst of sneering when a bolt of lightning struck his head, causing it to explode. Startled cries rang out. Long Chen, how dare you indiscriminately kill people, roared another ancient race expert. Pfft. Long Chen didn't even glance at that person. He pointed a finger, and a lightning arrow flew. That ancient race expert also exploded. Do you need a reason to kill people? If that were true, how could the ancient races destroy so many sects when they arrogantly expanded their territory? What? Does this law about no indiscriminate killing only apply to others, but not yourselves? However, if you have to have a reason, fine, I'll tell you. My mood is not good, so I killed a couple of people to vent and show off my power. Does this reason satisfy you? sneered Long Chen. Long Chen had previously been able to ignore other people's mocking, not because his self-restraint was so great, but simply because he was worried about being influenced by the nine-star hegemon body art that had made him tighten his control. This time, his cultivation base had increased by too much, and he clearly felt that he was unable to suppress his anger after being provoked. HMPH, showing off your power? How arrogant. 
Does stealing first place on the devil slaughter rankings with your despicable methods mean you're unrivaled? Laughable. An eccentric voice rang out. The western Xuan region's Luo Changshan. He's also calm. Quite a few recognized this newcomer. He was quite famous in the western Xuan region. That strange voice of yours. Is that the result of Mo Nian robbing your ancestral tomb? Long Chen looked at that person disdainfully. Seeing that this person came from the western Xuan region, Long Chen was just making a random guess, but it really turned out to be true, as this person's expression immediately darkened. Die. Suddenly, that person opened his mouth, and a blood arrow shot out like a bolt of lightning. It reached Long Chen in almost an instant. Ancestral blood arrow. He's actually launching his ultimate move right off the bat. Anyone would die upon being struck. This blood arrow was actually a kind of ancestral curse. If it touched someone, that person would be cursed and have their life force rapidly fade away. It was an extremely sinister poison. HMPH. Long Chen raised a hand and directly caught the blood arrow. Chapter 1737 Reaping What You Sow Translator. Born to be Bang. Long Chen caught the blood arrow in front of everyone's dumbfounded gazes. Although not everyone understood curse arts, the sinister runes on the blood arrow caused a stabbing pain in people's souls even when they just looked at them. They definitely couldn't and wouldn't allow such a thing to touch them. Seeing Long Chen catch it, the expert from the western Xuan region laughed. Ha ha ha, what an idiot. This ancestral blood arrow is boom. Before he could explain just how amazing his ancestral blood arrow was, Long Chen clenched and the arrow exploded. A-H-H the instant the arrow exploded, that expert let out a miserable screech. Black lines covered his body. They were like thousands of vipers wriggling over, and a bloody hole appeared in his head. Watch out. Blood spurted out of that expert's head. The surroundings experts fled for their lives, afraid of being touched by the blood. When the blood landed on the ground, each drop caused a hole to appear in the bricks. Furthermore, each hole had a locust-like rune still wriggling within it that corroded the brick rapidly. Even stone was being cursed. That expert from the western Xuan region tried to form a hand seal to control his own curse, but his arms had already corroded. As he wasn't able to resist, his body slowly collapsed. This terrifying curse made everyone shiver. Those experts that had been closed just now were especially terrified. They didn't even dare to touch the blood. No. That expert let out an unwilling roar. His legs and arms had both corroded. And the rest of his body was melting like snow. There was nothing he could do. Now when I tell you I was showing off my power just now. Is it still laughable? Long Chen looked indifferently at this expert. Who was now just a head lying in a puddle of black blood. Furthermore. There was a large hole in his head that had black runes crawling out of it. Each time a new rune crawled out, his Yuan spirit weakened. This curse was absolutely terrifying. It not only destroyed a person's physical body, but it also crushed their soul. However, no matter how amazing the curse was, it was unable to harm Long Chen, who was protected by divine lightning. He had used his spiritual strength to transfer the curse back to its master. This expert specialized in curses. He was like a poisonous bug keeper as his curses were his core energy. When Long Chen had made his core energy detonate, it caused a backlash that made him eat his own attack. Save me. Save me. I don't want to die. As long as you crush my head, my Yuan spirit can survive, pleaded the expert. Right now, his head was like a furnace protecting his Yuan spirit. However, as the curse continued to eat away at it, it wouldn't be long before he died in body and soul. His plea fell on deaf ears. What kind of joke was that? They weren't even his allies. So who would dare to take the risk of saving him? Ignoring the fact that Long Chen was right there. Who would dare to crush his head? If they were touched by a single drop of his blood, they would meet a similar end. Even a long distance attack wasn't an option. That would cause the blood to splatter everywhere. If that implicated others, wouldn't they have become a killer? With his pleas being ignored, that person suddenly shouted at Long Chen. Long Chen, I know you're a good person. You care about others, right? A hero like you can save me. I'm willing to be your slave. In the face of his death, he was so afraid that he even turned to Long Chen for help. Long Chen shook his head. No, you're wrong. I'm not a good person. 
As for caring about others, that depends on who it is. Even if I was more generous, I wouldn't save someone who wants my life. So, hurry up and get going. Your voice grates on my ears. Long Chen tossed a flame sphere that landed on that person's head. The blood around him was incinerated, and the black runes within it turned into thick black smoke. Both the blood and the head were incinerated. Long Chen didn't bat an eye after killing this person. He slowly started walking out of the city. All experts in the eastern Xuan city made way for him. There wasn't a single person on the path in front of him. They all hid behind the buildings. The foreign experts from the other regions looked at Long Chen with shock. He had killed a genius from the western Xuan region who was famous in his own right. Furthermore, Long Chen had killed him with one attack. This kind of combat power was simply terrifying. All the experts that had been cursing Long Chen for being a coward now felt cold sweat drip down their heads. In order to see a good show, they had intentionally provoked Long Chen. They wanted their words to reach the Zhuanshan Dao sect and make Long Chen come out and face the challenge. Now, he really had come. They thanked their luck that they hadn't been the ones that Long Chen had caught. Those two fellows that Long Chen had killed had essentially saved them from a similar fate. Suddenly, quite a few heads exploded in the crowd, raising startled cries. The instant those heads exploded, a lightning rune appeared on them. Then they were instantly killed. A loose tongue causes trouble. Did you not know this? Those who insult others will be insulted back. Unfortunately, my time is precious, so I have no time to insult you back. Sorry. I can only kill you. More and more heads exploded in the crowd as Long Chen advanced. This bizarre scene horrified the people watching. When he had heard the first two people talking ill of him, he swept his divine sense through the entire city, recording who had been cursing him. Long Chen was now settling accounts with them. If it was before, Long Chen might have let them off after killing the first two, but he was no longer able to remain as calm as before. His killing intent was especially provoked when he heard them insulting his brothers and lovers. These people might not be skilled at other things, but their ability to infuriate others was exceptional. Sometimes, words left worse injuries than physical damage. They were even more difficult to endure. More and more heads exploded, and people could only look on in horror. They quickly realized that the ones dying were the ones who had cursed Long Chen viciously. His accuracy sparked disbelief. What kind of domain is this? Why can't we sense anything? Exclaimed one expert noveloon.com They were able to feel the slightest trace of strange energy causing spatial fluctuations, but they were unable to sense the source. All they felt was an invisible blade that pressed against their necks. Some people were spared, but some weren't. In truth, this was Long Chen's celestial lightning domain. It was a technique he had gained insight into after cultivating the celestial lightning body blink. He hid lightning runes throughout this space, forming an invisible domain. Within this domain, he could freely move to any of the lightning runes. Later, he had changed this domain a bit, transforming the spatial runes into killing runes, making a powerful killing domain. It was just that he had never had a chance to test this domain before, having been infuriated by this crowd. Long Chen activated it, silently killing those people that had angered him. We were being used by others. It's not our fault. Pfft. An expert that had loudly cursed Long Chen was terrified at this sight, but his shout didn't save his life. He was still killed. I had no enmity with you. So why did you have to force me? Did you think that offending me meant nothing? That I couldn't do anything in retaliation? A person should cherish their life. If you don't cherish your own life, why should I cherish it for you? Is harming others in the dark very satisfying? Then go ahead and be satisfied. More heads exploded and corpses collapsed to the ground. The other experts were all pale, not even daring to move. Even Empyreans didn't dare to. They found that they were within an invisible domain, and their lives were in Long Chen's hands. If he wanted to, then no matter how they struggled, they wouldn't be able to escape death. They had finally experienced Long Chen's domineering terror. Long Chen, slaughtering innocent people doesn't make you a hero. If you have the gods, then come out of the city for a fight. Why make things hard on the weak? Is that the only ability you have? Xiang Yunfei's voice rang out in the distance. Who do you think you are to criticize me? Don't be in such a rush. 
As long as you don't run, I will cut off your dog head, replied Long Chen with a snort. He didn't charge out to meet Xiang Yunfei, but he also didn't continue killing these people. He had essentially killed them all. A few had managed to slip away, but Evil Moon had taken Long Chen's place to kill them. Not one managed to run. Evil Moon said Long Chen was finally acting like a man. Long Chen was walking toward the exit of the city when he suddenly looked at his left. Narrowing his eyes, he slowly pointed a finger. Boom. A lightning arrow shot out at a distant building. Chapter 1738 Xiang Yunfei Translator Born to be a tall building that was still in the midst of being built exploded. Everyone jumped in shock. Before this, when Long Chen had killed the experts that cursed him, he had used five colored lightning. But this time, he had used a violet lightning bolt. Although there had been no chance for them to get a good look at that bolt of lightning, for the brief instant it had appeared, they had sensed a terrifying divine might, one that stabbed their souls. They had felt that intense destructive aura. Long Chen usually used five-color tribulation lightning to kill others, but this time, he had used divine lightning. Divine lightning was equivalent to Lai Long's core energy. It recovered slowly so Long Chen wouldn't easily use it. Lai Long and Huo Long both had a kind of core energy. Lai Long's core energy was divine lightning, while Huo Long's core energy was the black illusion dragon flame. Normally, Long Chen would use five-color tribulation lightning or the heaven incinerating flame to fight because those two forms of energy used up very little of Lai Long and Huo Long's energy, and they also recovered quickly. They were good for long-term battles. However, their power was lower than their core energies. Long Chen, a furious row rang out from the dust of the destroyed building, the Blood Kill Hall. When people saw the elder who had roared, they let out startled cries. That elder was wearing the Blood Kill Hall's robes. His killing intent was obvious now, but he had no aura. That was the specific ability of the Blood Kill Hall's assassins. It was so that others couldn't sense their existence. You really have some gods. Last time. I destroyed your divine statue, and now you've come again. It seems being an assassin is very profitable, said Long Chen. As Long Chen had been walking, he had suddenly sensed something wrong. He had noticed the aura of the Blood Kill Hall's assassins in the distance. Considering his enmity with the Blood Kill Hall, he didn't even need to think about it. He had then sent a bolt of divine lightning to destroy their new stronghold. The reason he had used divine lightning was to destroy the killing god statue within. Go back and tell your master that whenever I encounter people from the blood kill hall, I will kill them. If I find your strongholds, I will destroy them as well. You can scram now. Long Chen glanced at the elder coldly before continuing on his way as if he had done something incredibly minor and unimportant. The elder of the blood kill hall was covered in blood, and half his body was black. Just now. He had been lucky to be on the edge of the attack. Furthermore, he had been strong enough to survive. There had been thousands of other experts from the Blood Kill Hall in this building, and they had all been annihilated by Long Chen's attack. This elder's eyes were red. He had long since lost the common assassin needed. In the end, the elder clenched his teeth and vanished. He didn't even leave behind any vicious words as a goodbye. The experts present all stared in shock, as expected. Evil people were best handled by evil people. Just how mighty was the Blood Kill Hall in the Martial Heaven continent? They were so terrifying that not even the ancient races, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, Pill Valley, or the Xuan Beasts would be willing to provoke them. They were too difficult to deal with. They came and went like the wind, and their assassination arts were unrivaled. They were an extremely special existence. However, even the domineering Blood Kill Hall wasn't able to do anything to the even more domineering Long Chen. He had destroyed their temple and killed their people, and the only survivor left without even daring to let out a fart. The Blood Kill Hall was truly unlucky. Last time, Long Chen had found their headquarters in the eastern Xuan region and destroyed their killing god statue. Now, they had managed to secretly reconstruct a new stronghold when it was destroyed by Long Chen just as it was about to be finished. That was also a reason the elder was so enraged. That was because, he had been sent to be the master of this branch. He had just arrived today, but before even getting a chance to sit down, this calamity had struck. However, 
the fact that he hadn't died should count as good enough luck for him. When it comes to being domineering, no one can compare to Long Chen. Last time, he also walked this path alone with no one being able to stop him. Blood dyed the street red. This time, he's walking the same path, like a king returning to his kingdom. To be able to live in the same world as such a figure, I have no regrets about this life. Within the crowd, a rank 9 celestial couldn't help sighing emotionally. Last time, Long Chen had killed his way out of the eastern Xuan city. That image was still deeply imprinted in people's minds. Now, even with heavenly geniuses soaring and monstrous figures everywhere, Long Chen was still as domineering as ever. Last time, many people had refused to accept him, and they had been slaughtered in droves. Now, no one dared to stop him. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, eliminate that idiot Xiang Yanfei. Let him know our eastern Xuan region isn't so easy to bully. Kill him. Who asked him to act so arrogantly here? Beat him until his mother won't even recognize him. Those people swaggering on the streets just now. Didn't you feel like you were very badass? Come out again and see if senior apprentice brother Long Chen can knock you into the wall so hard that you can't even pull yourselves out. Seeing how imposing Long Chen was. Seeing how the arrogant experts from the other regions were so intimidated that they didn't even dare to make a sound. The experts native to the eastern Xuan region all began to criticize them. Before Long Chen had arrived, those foreign experts hadn't just cursed Long Chen, but they had also provoked the flames of fury of the entire eastern Xuan region's junior generation. Those experts truly had looked down on the disciples of the eastern Xuan region. Those disciples were truly just weaker. So being looked down upon was normal. Those disciples finally had a chance to vent with Long Chen's arrival. So it was also very normal for them to curse back at those people. Those foreign experts felt a burning sensation on their faces as if they had been slapped. However, they chose to act like they couldn't hear anything. Long Chen quickly reached the end of the main path and arrived outside the city. He saw the uneven ground outside and couldn't help but recall his fight here against Yi King Kuang. Sha Guangyan, and Peng Wanshang. Yi King Kuang had even summoned his lightning tribulation at the end. If Long Chen hadn't intentionally provoked the lightning tribulation and drawn it away, it was unknown how many innocent lives in the city would have been lost to it. Now, the same story was replaying. Those three were dead, replaced by someone from the central Xuan region. Long Chen, sinner of the human race, hurry up and face your death. Long Chen had just stepped outside the city when Xiang Yunfei's voice rang out again. On a distant mountain peak stood a young man. He was tall and muscular. His skin was copper-colored and covered in many tiny runes. Just by standing there, the power of his blood qi caused the space around to rumble. Xiang Yunfei is a top expert of the ancient races. He possesses the ancient barbarian mammoth bloodline, which gives him immense power. It is said that in the immortal era, such experts were capable of tearing apart stars. Although those legends aren't very believable, considering Xiang Yunfei's immense blood qi, he could probably kill other Empyreans with a single punch, said an elder within the crowd. I don't think it's just that. After Xiang Yunfei's talent awoke, he relied on his whole race to undergo an ancestral restoration sacrifice. The spirit of his ancestor was pulled into his body. He not only has his own power, but he also has another kind of forbidden power, said another elder from a foreign region. Then you mean his race has hedged everything on Xiang Yunfei. That was a huge gamble. If Xiang Yunfei died, their ancestral spirit would disappear with him. Then their race would quickly decline until it vanished like smoke in the wind. This was no joke. A great era has already descended. Countless monsters are awakening, and sects that have been missing for tens of thousands of years are reviving. If they don't gamble at this time, then what are they supposed to wait for? Some powers have the capital to gamble, while many powers can only watch as others gamble, sighed the elder. He was actually the leader of a sect, and he also had powerful heavenly geniuses rising within his sect. It was just that his sect's foundation was too weak, and he was unable to raise a true monstrous genius. He was helpless to do anything about it. Geniuses required something that was much more important than talent. It was resources. To put it even more frankly, it was money. A whale couldn't be raised in a fish tank. 
A dragon couldn't be raised in a pig pen. Without money, everything else was useless. Without the support of resources, even geniuses would become mediocre. This was also one of the cruel laws of the cultivation world. Every time you open your mouth, you bring up the human race. That sounds so strange to my ears. Do you not even recognize your ancestors anymore? Mocked Long Chen. The ancient races were the descendants of the human race and the Xuan beasts. Back in that era, the human race was very powerful, and they possessed a sovereign who blinded the world with their radiance. In that era, the Xuan beasts were merely the human race's subordinates. They were the ones who had taken the initiative to marry into the human race. Some of the Xuan beasts had even treated marrying members of the human race as an absolute honor. However, when the final sovereign vanished, the human race declined to the point that the Xuan beasts viewed their intermarrying with the human race as a mistake, a humiliation. They not only split ties with the human race, but they also kicked out the results of the intermating. Back then, the human race had accepted those that had been kicked out. However, those people also saw that the human race had declined, so they decided to form their own name, calling themselves the ancient races. The ancient races worshipped the strong, and so they worshipped the Xuan beasts. They said that they were the descendants of the Xuan beasts, while refusing to accept that they also came from the human race. They had once started large wars against the human race, resulting in much blood. The ties between the two were fully severed. Perhaps the ancient races were truly good loyal dogs. In the end, while the Xuan beasts did not acknowledge them, they also did not kick them away. They still had some relations between them. That made the ancient races feel an even greater sense of belonging amongst the Xuan beasts. So they felt that the human blood flowing in their veins was a disgrace. They were full of hatred toward the human race. As for Long Chen, he didn't care about their reasoning. He directly talked to them as if he was their ancestor. That refreshed quite a few human experts present. Long Chen, your ignorance will come with a painful price. Xiang Yunfei's copper-like eyes stared at Long Chen as he walked closer. Killing intent surged out of him. Chapter 1739 Your guts aren't small translator. Born to be I'm ignorant Long Chen suddenly laughed. Perhaps. But even if I'm ignorant, I'm not so ignorant to the point of not knowing the history of the ancient races. You don't even dare to face your own origins. Instead kneeling below the feet of the Xuan beasts. Do you think that can change the fact that the human race is your ancestor? If you don't even dare to face history and instead brainwash yourself with fantasies, do you think that will bring you a sense of accomplishment? Long Chen's words weren't polite at all. They made countless human experts cheer inside. These experts came from all the various regions, but the majority of them were still human. They were all fed up with the Xuan beast's ridicule and the ancient race's loathing. However, None of them dared to be like Long Chen and say such things directly to them like this. Originally, quite a few people had had some suspicions about Long Chen. Some were even of the opinion that Long Chen had cheated to take first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings. However, these words of his stunned them. Even if they were beaten to death, they wouldn't dare to say such words. Long Chen, Xiang Yunfei's manifestation burst into existence. The world shook as a tsunami-like pressure soared. Xiang Yunfei's hair stood on end like an angry lion. Don't play such useless things with me. A few loud sounds aren't able to scare me. Long Chen slowly walked forward as he spoke. Ignoring Xiang Yunfei's power, the ancient races have the blood of the human race and the Xuan beasts. The Xuan beasts ignore you like slaves, while the human race dislikes you for your beast nature. To suck up to the Xuan beasts. You try to act like a tyrannical ruler in your own right instead of acting like a slave. But let me tell you, a dog will always be a dog in the end. No matter how fierce it acts, it can't become a lion. Each of Long Chen's words was like an arrow stabbing into Xiang Yunfei's heart, making him almost go crazy with rage. Long Chen's words were also very satisfying to the experts present. His words were right on the mark. The human race was the most complicated race. It was a mix of good and evil, and there were people with all kinds of natures. Even a single person would of their character constantly change in different environments. For profit, a good person could become a devil, and sometimes to protect their family, a coward could become a fearless warrior.
This kind of complicated nature was inherited by the ancient races, along with the Xuan beasts' domineering wildness. So the ancient races were also a complicated race, and the Xuan beasts viewed them as too cowardly, so they didn't want them. Of course, saying such things in front of members of the ancient races was taboo. Many people knew it inside but didn't dare to say it. That was why the experts from the various regions almost cheered from having their thoughts put into words. Inferior human, all your race knows how to do is spout nonsense. Today, I'll teach you that the prestige of the ancient races isn't something a weak race like yours can provoke. Xiang Yunfei could endure no longer. He charged forward, unleashing a punch at Long Chen. I heard that you claim to have an unrivaled physical body. Then I'll use my fists to beat you into a pulp to teach you that in terms of physical strength, the human race is nothing more than a group of trash. Xiang Yunfei's powerful punch caused the world to quiver. Space wildly twisted around his fist, and his entire body began to shine. What terrifying power. And, this is just from his physical body. These experts had long since grown irritated with Xiang Yunfei and how he insulted the human race. But when he attacked, those people were horrified. Just the power of his punch was even more terrifying than the human race's magical arts. The power of his physical body was something their bodies couldn't possibly endure. You want to mock the human race? If it weren't for the human race, you half-bloods would have never appeared. What qualifications do you have to mock us? Since you want to compete, I'll also use just physical power. Long Chen stamped on the ground and also shot toward Xiang Yunfei, unleashing a fist. He, startled cries rang out. As a human, rather than using the magical arts that the human race specialized in, Long Chen was actually using his physical body to compete with the top expert of the ancient races. Boom. The world shook violently. Even the sun in the sky suddenly darkened and astral winds unfurled. Within that hurricane of astral winds, two figures had their fists locked against each other. Under the blazing sun, they looked like two battle gods competing. He received it. Impossible. Amongst the crowd was a horned expert. He was also from the ancient races. And due to his understanding of Xiang Yunfei, he couldn't believe his eyes. People not from the ancient races were also unable to believe it. They all looked up at the sky in shock. As expected, they were right. You have just the slightest power worth noticing. You haven't disappointed me. Xiang Yunfei smiled cruelly at Long Chen. He clearly knew a bit of information about Long Chen. I don't have just this little bit of power. But you're right when you say I definitely won't disappoint you, said Long Chen indifferently. Xiang Yunfei's power was swelling like the tide, rising with each second. However, this kind of power was not enough to shock Long Chen. Then I'll let you experience the power I awakened upon inheriting the talent of the Xuan beasts. This is a power a human wouldn't be able to achieve even if they cultivated for 10,000 years. Xiang Yunfei's manifestation suddenly began to boil like water. It was rolling and rumbling. A huge figure gradually appeared within his primal chaos manifestation. The figure grew more and more solid. It had four limbs, and its nose was raised to the sky. A giant mammoth immediately let out a resounding and thunderous cry. The power of Xiang Yunfei's manifestation soared. If his aura had been like a rising river, now it was like a wild sea. Long Chen began to be pushed back. The space beneath Long Chen's feet cracked and creaked as if it were about to explode from this power. Not good. In the end, Long Chen's still from the human race. He can't match Xiang Yunfei when it comes to power. People's expressions changed. The majority of these people here were from other regions, and they didn't have the slightest relationship with Long Chen. However, since they were also members of the human race, they hoped for Long Chen to win. HMPH. Long Chen's just a frog at the bottom of the well. Xiang Yunfei is the strongest existence when it comes to power in the ancient races. When he goes all out, even Nether Passage experts would have to regard him seriously. Haha. <laughs> Long Chen said so much before, but he's just an ant in front of Xiang Yunfei. Now, he should know how garbage he is, sneered someone from the ancient races. Long Chen, do you only have this little ability? If that's the case, you really have disappointed me. Xiang Yunfei was smiling sinisterly. Even as Long Chen put forth all his power to resist, he was forced back. 
he was being forced back further and further away from the eastern Xuan capital. As Long Chen retreated, the space around him twisted wildly. Clearly, he was using immense power, but the difference between them was too great. However, Long Chen's expression was like a rippleless well. No one knew what he was thinking. Acting profound? Thinking of your next move? Let me tell you, in front of absolute power, all schemes are useless, sneered Xiang Yunfei as he increased his power. The runes around him blazed like suns and spread, surrounding Long Chen so that he couldn't escape. Long Chen suddenly laughed. Are you trying to anger me? Or do you think I'm as dumb as you? Don't use your half-beast intelligence to judge the intelligence of your ancestor. I refuse to believe you didn't gather any information about me before this challenge. You should know some of my trump cards and be very clear that I have yet to use my full power. Right now, I'm just wondering what your goal is. Or, putting it another way, no matter what meticulous trap you laid down here, in my eyes, it's nothing more than a dog turd ha ha ha. Long Chen, are you trying to act tough before your death? I don't need to act tough. You are not capable of causing me to panic. At the very least, I figured out two things. Do you want to hear what they are? Your enlightened words before your death. Mok Xiang Yunfei. Long Chen didn't mind his words. He said, First, you drew me out as a trap. Hidden in this place is a supreme tortoise. Am I correct? Xiang Yunfei's expression twitched. Idiot. Who cares about your nonsense? Xiang Yunfei's manifestation shook and immense power burst out of it. Long Chen was sent flying. Long Chen stabilized himself, as calm as ever. Not only is there a large tortoise hidden, but there's also a heaven-enveloping formation. Your goal is to capture me alive. Ha ha ha. However, it seems your side's brains could only come up with something like that. So I'll drop it. Let's talk about you instead. HMPH. What is there to say? I really admire you. It's too late to beg for mercy, unless you kowtow to me, sneered Xiang Yunfei. You misunderstand. What I mean is, your guts aren't small. Long Chen suddenly let out a roar, and his huge divine ring appeared behind him. He smashed a powerful punch at Xiang Yunfei. Chapter 1740 A Competition of Physical Strength Translator Born to be Long Chen's divine ring suddenly manifested, and an incomparable divine pressure appeared with it. That divine pressure was like a hammer smashing everyone's heart. Boom. Long Chen's punch smashed into Xiang Yunfei's arms, and it immediately reversed the tides. Long Chen had gone from being forced back to almost breaking Xiang Yunfei's arms with this one punch. The latter was sent flying, and huge ripples appeared in the air. Even a clone dares to act mighty in front of me. I admire you. Truly. Long Chen shot after Xiang Yunfei like a wild gale slamming his foot down at Xiang Yunfei's head. Xiang Yunfei had yet to recover from the shock at this sudden turn of events before Long Chen's foot arrived in front of him. Now he was angry. This attack was clearly intent on humiliating him. Even a clone is enough to kill a little human. Xiang Yunfei's manifestation shook. His entire body began to shine, and an elephant cry rang out. His arms instantly thickened as he let out a punch. Long Chen's foot and Xiang Yunfei's fist collided. As a result, Long Chen felt a twang of pain from his foot, surprising him. He was knocked back, his ankle broken. He didn't recall ever being injured by someone using pure physical strength in the past few years. Of course, this little injury was nothing to Long Chen. The primal chaos space unleashed a bit of life energy, instantly healing him. Xiang Yunfei staggered back from Long Chen's kick. He felt a burst of pain from his wrist. Your bragging isn't bad. Since that's the case, I'll cut down this clone of yours today. Long Chen stamped on the ground. He vanished from his original location, reappearing right in front of Xiang Yunfei and unleashing another simple punch. It was purely a fight of physical strength. Shameless arrogance Xiang Yunfei also let out a punch. Boom, boom, boom. A flurry of limbs repeatedly struck each other. Each time they clashed, it was like two stars colliding. The world was constantly shaking. Not good. The eastern Xuan city's protective formation is being torn apart. The city walls are crumbling everyone had been paying attention to the battle. 
but now someone saw that the intense battle was shaking the earth so badly that even the underground formation protecting the eastern Xuan city was being torn apart. Without the formation, the eastern Xuan city will be torn apart. The expressions of the native experts changed. They were just about to tell the weaker people to run. Buzz. Just at that moment, a divine light lit up from a building at the center of the eastern Xuan city. The light transformed into runes that enveloped the eastern Xuan city. It's the Huaian sect. Startled cries rang out. That building was the Huaian sect's stronghold in the eastern Xuan region. This move of yours wasted quite a bit of money. On the top floor of the Huaian sect's building, an elder stood behind Zheng Wenlong, faintly smiling. It's not a waste. Long Chen is my biggest client. This can count as strengthening his prestige. And he'll owe me a favor. You should know just how valuable a favor from Long Chen is. Other than that, this is a good chance to show off the wealth of the Huaian sect what we spend today. We'll get back twofold. It's an investment. Zheng Wenlong also smiled faintly. The current Zheng Wenlong appeared to be steadier, like a confident strategist capable of winning battles without even setting foot on the battlefield. Zheng Wenlong's actions drew cheering from the eastern Xuan city. The eastern Xuan city was the largest city in the eastern Xuan region, but over 80% of the people inside possessed low cultivation bases and would definitely die from the shockwaves of the battle. They would have been forced to flee for their lives. Now, they didn't need to worry and could watch the intense fight. They might never get a chance to see a fight on this level ever again. Hence, these people were grateful to the Huaian sect, as well as admiring them. Many of them wanted to have future collaborations with the Huaian sect. Zheng Wenlong foresight was quite amazing. While the Huaian sect were summoning a barrier, on the other side, Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei were still fighting intensely. It was a pure and simple battle of physical strength. It could also be called the most senseless kind of battle. Yet, their power was so great that each time they collided, space exploded, mountains were torn asunder and the sky and ground were shaking. This was practically an apocalyptic scene. If you didn't personally witness it, who would believe that their physical bodies could reach such a realm? We were really frogs at the bottom of a well, sighed one person. The speaker was actually a powerful Empyrean. Even he had to admit that he was a frog at the bottom of a well. The others felt even more profoundly powerless. The ones feeling powerless were experts that had reached the level of Empyreans. People like Celestials didn't feel any pressure because they knew that they weren't on that level. Fuck. That's amazing. Just a punch is 100% capable of destroying a city. I'm going to keep this photographic jade to myself and make it my family's ancestral treasure. I'll be able to brag about this for a lifetime. This is definitely worth me paying such a huge sum to come over from the western Xuan region. The people watching were growing more and more excited. Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei's speed had increased to the point where the spectators could only catch glimpses of them vaguely. Neither their eyes nor their spiritual strength could lock onto them. Even celestials were unable to track them and had to rely on the spatial twists in the sky to tell where they were. Only Empyreans were able to barely keep track of their locations. That's about enough. Long Chen's lazy voice suddenly rang out from the sky. What is that supposed to mean? Xiang Yunfei didn't pause his attacks at all as he coldly responded. I mean the warm-up is done. It should be time to bring out your full power. Right. What all the experts watching were unable to believe their ears. This kind of intense, practically world-destroying battle was a warm-up? Long Chen was joking. Right? It's been a long time since I've fought only with my physical body. I was feeling rusty. But now I'm feeling better. It seems you like to show off. So just let me take the initiative for you. The divine ring behind Long Chen's back suddenly began to spin rapidly. In that instant, it felt like an ancient monster had woken up in Long Chen's body. Boom. An explosive sound rang out as a figure shot out of the sky, smashing into the ground. He left a large hole that unleashed a wave of earth flying. Heavens. The experts present all stared in shock. Their jaws dropped. Long Chen was still in his punching posture. However, he appeared different now. Long Chen was now covered in green dragon scales that were emitting majestic divine might. It's been a long time since I've used the green dragon battle armor. I had almost forgotten this feeling. 
Although its increase in power isn't as great as before, it's still very powerful. Long Chen smiled. He suddenly vanished. Xiang Yanfei had been smashed into the ground. He hacked up blood, and one of his arms was broken. He had yet to stabilize himself. Get out here. Long Chen appeared in the air above Xiang Yanfei. He stamped his foot on the ground, causing it to splinter, and then shot after Xiang Yanfei. Boom. Xiang Yanfei felt like he had been struck by a meteor. He was hit with such power that he was knocked out of the ground and into the sky. He coughed up three mouthfuls of blood in the sky, causing an uproar amongst the spectators. Xiang Yanfei has been injured. He was defeated so quickly, perhaps. But he should have more trump cards. No one had thought that Xiang Yanfei would be injured so quickly. Although an injury did not represent defeat, it did mean that he was at a disadvantage. Bastard. That's not the human race's power. You really are cheating. The shameless human race only knows how to rely on tricks. Roared Xiang Yanfei angrily as he looked at scale-covered Long Chen. Your words really are laughable. Power I can control is my own power. Using my own power is cheating? Do you know what the greatest difference between the human race and beasts is? I'll tell you. It's that the human race knows how to use tools. How to obtain power. Power doesn't refer to just your own body but all power that you can control. I'm using the power that belongs to me. So how can it count as cheating? Then what power belongs to you? If you're going to be like that, then please hand over your human bloodline, and I'll stop my green dragon battle armor, said Long Chen mockingly. You, you're twisting words. As expected of someone despicable and shameless roared Xiang Yanfei. The ancient races had the blood of the human race flowing within them. If they expelled that bloodline, their intelligence would sharply drop. It was true. A great deal of their power came from the Xuan beasts and the divine abilities they inherited were also from their bloodline. However, plenty of their abilities also came from the human race's bloodline. HMPH. Without your human blood, you'd become a pack of animals who wouldn't even know how to cultivate. Remember your ancestors' words. The power you obtain belongs to you. Don't bring up such childish words about cheating, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen, you son of a bitch. You're clearly you're the son of a bitch. Long Chen suddenly roared angrily and charged straight at him, smashing out with a fist. 